That's my cue. Hello, everybody. Good morning or good afternoon or good evening, depending on what time it is for you, where you are. I feel like I'm buffering a little bit more before I finish that sentence every single day. Hello. Happy Friday. Welcome to the beginning of your weekend, should your weekend begin on a Friday. Kitty Cat here to say hi. Hello. Yeah, Hello there. It's okay. You never said it before. <sighs> Gritty Instrumental will never get old. So satisfying to listen to. Feels like my brain is underwater. Hello, I'm late. Hello. Not late at all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thought it was Saturday. Doing great. Hey, you just gained a whole day. <laughs> you got a whole day back in your life. JG Britt, thank you for the 29 month resip. Hi, Hazel. Happy subversary. Happy subversary right back at you. Dude, isn't the brain always underwater? Under fluid. <laughs> Something like that. She's happy that we're here. Kitty does not like it when we don't stream. She waits on the chair, on the arm, being like, what are you doing? <laughs> Made it just in time. Welcome, everybody. I hope that you had a wonderful yesterday. I hope that you're revving up for a great weekend. Whatever on earth should we do? Can you play back old streams for her? I think the thing is she wants me in the chair. <laughs> I think she wants me here. Um, mainly not getting up for like an hour at a time. Hello gamers. Bought myself a sourdough from a farmer's market today. So excited to get into it. Oh, I'm jealous. I'm out of bread right now. I feel like running my brain through some cold water would do wonders on me. <sighs> I uh, I had I had a feeling similar to that this morning when then I just drank like a huge glass of water before I went for my walk. Thanks to you farming Karakta now. I wish you the best of luck. I hope you have better luck than I've had so far. Oh, we got coffee. We've got water. I've got an assortment of plushies and multiple pens in my desk. Uh, I think I'm regressing to an, an earlier state of being because I've been restraining myself from a desire that I haven't had for a long time, which was to chew on pens. I used to do that when I was like in high school. And uh, I haven't done it for a long time. And it's <laughs> I'm having to stop myself now and it's weird. It's a blast from the past. Looking forward to the pup's birthday party. The end, which end of the pen? The one that doesn't write. Happy early birthday to your pup. I'm upset at my cat. He left me his food on the edge of my bed and the floor next to it. Already eaten food. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Tummy not feeling so good. Thank you. Mm. Moose has taught you the joy of chewing. <laughs> <sighs> well, 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 whatever do we have to do today? Because we don't have a world awoken. My meta achievement is finished. Fini. Finito. Looking for Panda Remix. Don't say anything about dates. Yeah, we don't know. We don't know when. I'm also interested in a date for that because my calendar is a war zone and I need people to stake their claims. <laughs> Yeah, we're done with we're done with the the meta achievement. <sighs> Yesterday we played some Hearthstone Battleground duos and we spent some time catching up on news items. Today though, I think we might just have to change it up. Brain cross pen and pencil for a second, but it just changes the follow up, not the initial question. Still trying to get Tetrachromancer done. It's heinous. I'm so sorry. I hope it happens soon. Finished working 75 days straight. That is like 69 too many holy smokes time for your true crime podcaster arc only if only if um instead of true crime I'm, I'm just reading out listings for various adoptable animals on the shelters and then um extrapolating stories about what i think that animal might be like if only you take it into your home <laughs> this could be day two I play a different game every day until season four releases do you like true crime I try my very best not to consume true crime content because one, I know that I am the kind of person that will get sucked into it and then A, freak myself out about danger, B, give myself nightmares because violence, and then C, just spend way too much time consuming that content. And uh, it's a little, it, it just feels a little ethically f fishy when a lot of these cases aren't very old. Um, and it's probably better if I just don't dive into that pool in the first place. But I know it's very popular. You're still looking at shelter listings. Uh, my partner sometimes does. And then I tell Moose that, can you believe this guy? <laughs> we, have, we have one dog already. 
Ah, oh, Katie looks so fluffy. Keep putting off level and I'll just tell myself I'll just do it during remix, but the waiting's just killing me a bit. Mm -hmm. So what if instead of duos, although I did have fun with duos, what if instead of that, today for stream, we played a little bit of... Dun -dun -dun -dun. I'm an alpha. <laughs> and you never guessed a thing. <laughs> we got alpha alpha. That's a great stream title. I'm I'm stealing that. <laughs> Thanks. Um, Twitch dashboard. Cause I, I couldn't I couldn't put it in the stream title without spoiling my surprise. Um, alpha lal alpha lalpha lapha llama. No, that's too confusing. Uh, <laughs> alpha alpha. There you go. I like that. <sighs> None of us could have guessed you're so tricksy. Um, I genuinely didn't have it yesterday, so I'm not that good of an actor. My <laughs> my moroseness yesterday was genuine, and also not entirely about Elf. I have some other stuff going on in my life, but um, but we're we're in now, and that uh, that goes a long way. <laughs> I feel a lot better. <laughs> Hope you have a fun stream today. Have to sign off to avoid spoilers. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Home screen looks great. Earth and dance animations won me over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were looking at them yesterday in the Wowhead, uh, the Wowhead dressing room. That will be because of my cousin, who I haven't met, who I never mentioned you to, of course. Indeed, indeed. Joke for audience of one comes to mind. Did you like it? <laughs> Did you at least apologize? No, we're, um... I'm just, uh, I'm the kind of person that, like, if I'm a little kid and my mom is, like, 20 minutes late coming home from work, I'm like, well, she's dead. I'm an orphan now. Time to go scour all my books about orphans to figure out what I'm gonna do. I think I need a boxcar in the woods to move into. Um, I, I take, like, no seconds at all to catastrophize and plan for the worst. So, um, I, I think I was just assuming that I've, like, I don't know. They found my my grade school dance competition shows and were like, yo, she's got no rhythm. This isn't happening. <laughs> Take her off the list. Mythologic, thank you for the 50-month reset. Finally caught a live stream after quite a while, actually. Welcome back. That's so many months. Also, woof with a two-month reset. Appreciate it. Uh, as in railway, railway car. Yeah, there's a, there's a book series about... I think called the Boxcar Kids about a group of orphans that live in the forest in an abandoned train car because there's a surprising amount of literature for children that is about not having parents. I had so many dreams as a kid about my mom being kidnapped and dropped into a big cauldron of green, deathly scary juice. <laughs> it's just pickle, pickle juice. Well, should we make a character? I have um, my plan for today's stream for what to test is chaos, everything, anything. Nothing in particular. Um, I just want to noodle around with no goals and kind of get my feet wet. So, um, character copy is not showing anything available. So I think we're start making a war within level up template character. I think I should be a gnome priest. <laughs> I think. Um, don't mind my UI scale. I think I did that. Let me let me adjust that a little bit. I use a 4K monitor, and normally what I do is I take this. I think down to like 80. Like I use the UI scale, but I think I. Yeah, that's more reasonable. That's a little bit less <laughs> egregious. It still might be a little big, but I like it. <laughs> Works for my old lady eyes. Create a uh, gnome priest. And then we'll, we'll get this all sorted out. Gnomes are still... Oh, man, that was my first question. Is Does the war with an alpha do anything about this gosh darn pen light that is being shone into the eyes of our characters that is particularly noticeable on gnomes? And the answer is nope. <laughs> still there. Uh, there we go. Make sure I still have my aggressively need sleep. Forgot to take off her mascara last night kind of hair. 
And then that's her hair color. That is a cute hairstyle. <laughs> hmm. Uh, yeah, you cannot copy character at this time. I enjoyed those books as a kid. Looking back on them, gender stereotypes them in them are pretty extreme. I haven't looked at them in a million years. I'm sure you're right. I read it as a kid when I was 10 or so. That was 47 years ago. Um, wish they had the Morchi makeup. Mm -hmm. So, it's all about the... Um, this isn't even new content. <laughs> this is the same stuff we already have. Alright, it's all about that. She has blue eyes. She can see her... The gear earrings are cute, but we're all about multiple multiple hoops. Um, yeah, you can have gold nowadays. Why not? I've got gold ones in somewhere under here. Can I be Hazel? Yeah, I can be Hazel. There she is. She's so small. Just for fun. Just for fun to see them on the Warband favorite list. Let me make a somebody bigger. Let me make a Barnacles. Let's make a a druid. I don't I don't plan to play him or anything, but um, I don't remember how I've customized Barnacles if we're being pretty honest. Um, I know he has like like white ha gray hair, and I know he has. I don't know. I think he has a beard and no mustache. Maybe it's a beard and a mustache. Maybe he's like that. Barnacles? Yeah, I don't know. I think I think I'm getting closer, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure he only has vision in one eye. Anyways. Okay, there, he's standing far enough in the background that he doesn't dwarf. I figured he was going to, like, be about to step on my gnome with his enormous stompers. <laughs> he has a butt torch, that's all I can say for certain. Very hairy. Reference picks. Ah. So you cannot click on them on the scene. You still have to select them from this. Not that I've ever been able to... It, it's never been a consideration before. It kind of feels like you should be able to select them this way. I wonder if they'll ever add that in. Um, and then it shows Shadow Priest Balanced Druid. Okay, send me in. You can have many more than four characters. You just can only save four to that favorites list that sits around the camp. They talked about wanting to add more scenes that you can unlock as like a cosmetic collectible, which I thought was pretty funny. I wonder if I can import my edit mode code from um, retail. Let me try and grab that real quick before I spend like an hour and a half trying to recreate my UI. So here, I'm just going to large screen so the cat can uh, do her do her, her work. <laughs> and I'm going to go grab a an up-to-date version of my own edit mode export stream. Because I had an old one. $25 per background. I'm sure that, I'm sure that they would put them on the shop if they can get away with it. <sighs> Algalon room would be a cool backdrop. It would be neat if they added a bunch of um, achievements for like doing different things on different races of characters and that let you like unlock a racial background. Also, this game is loud. <laughs> max to the characters near your account, level them all to max, got a crowd scene as a reward. I have no doubt store scenes are coming. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of with you there. <laughs> I don't think there's any... I think the world where Blizzard would go, well, we don't need to do that. Uh, never existed. And if it did, it's certainly gone. Okay, let me bring that down. And then I wanted to just grab my edit mode export stream for just my standard UI. Copy to clipboard. And then we go back into Elsa. <laughs> People will spend money on that? I don't know why that surprises me. I think that you could... I think that we've reached a point in consumerism where you can sell anything to the point that something can be functionally, aesthetically, culturally, completely void of any value. And just by virtue of putting it up for sale and putting a dollar amount on it, especially if it's visible to people, some people will buy it just to say that they did or to have done so. Like... It's, we're, <laughs> the, not everybody, not most people, but some people will. 
Uh, okay, follow-up question. Can we unfavor it? Warband character list. You can... Oh, sorry, hang on. Do, 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 do. So you can see this. There we go. So you can expand and collapse the character list. Um, I bet you you can drag characters. Yeah, you can drag them on and off. And that will arrange them. And it looks like each different spot has a different spot around the campfire. Um, I'd love to see some with, like, some furniture and stuff. I want to see, like, a tavern scene. <laughs> So, uh, Warband is just a word for account-wide features. We currently have one of these favorite scenes where you can put four characters around a fire. That's just a cosmetic thing for your login screen. It doesn't confer them any special benefits. Just look at NFTs. Exactly. Some people thought those were an investment. Mm. Video game microtransactions have a horrible grip on me. Battle scenes. Tentacle holding onto one of your characters, the other's rushing in to save him. That would be very cute. Oh, I tell my I don't think I would spend money on them, but I feel like I would do like achievements. I would maybe do trading post, um, like spend tender if it was a good one. But also the thing with the with the login scenes is that you have to remember that once you're playing the game, you don't look you don't see it anymore. It's like only for a part of your game that you that you interact with very briefly. Um There we go. Lovely. That makes me happy. Although the scale's wrong, isn't it? Uh, let me go into my UI scale and turn it down more. I don't know what I use on retail, but let's try 70. 70 looks a little more reasonable. Yeah, because that nests my bars right against my, my stream cam. That must be what I normally have. Okie dokie. Let's see. Let's one thing at a time. We have... My keybinds are still not right. <laughs> Uh, even a little bit. We can probably just do a little quick key binding. Um, for my movement keys, I know I like to put A and D on strafe left and right. That's good. For... Let's, um, turn on a few more action bars. And then maybe just do, like, a little round of quick key binding. Because you've got, like, a... Oh, let's make sure we get an interact key as well. I like, um... I keep interact on H. Okay. And then for key binding, I like going, these ones are easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do, do, do. And then the same thing with shift. And then I may as well do it with alt. And I am going to remember, after I set up all these lovely key binds, I am going to remember to log out so that they get saved. Because otherwise, if I get disconnected, I'm going to have to do it all over again. And I'm going to be so cranky. Rumpf. No good. Okay, so what do I do for these, is the question. I'm pretty sure I do QE, RT, FG, Shift F, Shift G, Z, X, Shift Z, and V. I'm not saying it's a good way to do it. I just think that's what I normally use. <laughs> I think that's, that's my move. Okay. And then let's go ahead and just re-log. I'm just going to log out and then quit the whole... I don't think I need to quit the whole client, but I'm going to do it because it's going to make me feel better. <sighs> you want to know what I keep thinking with your green wig in the background? What's that? I should be getting the cozy buff sitting around the campfire for so long. <sighs> Looks like a Metroid. I'm gonna uh, embarrass myself here and say I don't know what a Metroid is. I'm familiar with the concept of a meteor, but I don't think that's where you're going. <laughs> Alrighty, we have keybinds. Happy with that. Talent points. All right, I am um, I am a shadow priest by hobby only. I don't really raid on it or anything, so I'm just gonna kind of make this up and do my best. What's inspiration? Bulwark. We like bulwark. And then maybe some reflection. Yeah, we can have the mind bender shadow steel. That's fine. Mm, 
we're just gonna we're just gonna do our best here. Do, do, do. I like Void Eruption better than Dark Ascension. Feels feels better. Shadow Crash important. Yeah, that seems all fine. Uh, we can take some procs. That's fine. So we unlock Hero Talents at 71. I don't know how much um, is available. I don't know how far we're able to level in this, but we'll we'll get there. Crit Strike, Drawing Plague Damage, Maximum Energy, very good. Uh, I'm not worrying about Mind Spike stuff. We could make Drowning Plague hit harder or cheaper. Void Torrent is something I know I have on retail, like on live. Oh, you know what? I want Mindbender because I took a talent for it. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll try and use that sometimes. How many talent points do we have left? Five? Are any of these any good? Oh, Echoing Void does good. Yeah, let's look at Echoing Void. I like that. Do, 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 do. And then we have two more points. I guess I could get a third capstone. Sure, yeah. We'll, we'll take that. That'll be something. We'll stick our issue reporter over here. Oh yeah, there's starter builds too. Got it. Okay. Um, I now need to fix my keybinds because they're everywhere. They're all over the place. I feel like I just looked at my Shadow Priest bars too. Talk to the guy near you to unlock hero talents. Okay, let me let me get my my bars my bars straightened out and then I'll look into it. Um, new Tmog thing's gonna be the greatest thing in a long time. Cannot wait. Do I have? my collection. I do. Or at least I have a collection. I don't know if it's my collection, but... Stick an expedition yak on the bar. I'm gonna need to get a mount keybind as well. Oh yeah, we can switch our flight style. So we're on sky riding. Sky riding and steady flight styles. It doesn't actually say which... I mean, there's an icon. I just don't know what the icons mean yet. Looks like it's a cast time. Where does it show me which style I'm in? I know this says dynamic flying, but I'm currently not dynamic flying. I thought the icon was going to shift. Okay. Oh, there's a buff. Okay, there's a buff. Flight style skywriting. Gotcha. Love to see it. <laughs> okay, I have a screenshot that had a reference. I also want to grab my Put mouse over. Yeah, action button five, good. Mouse button five. I wanted to get a quick reference on my my buttons here. <coughs> You don't happen to have any unspent dragon riding gloves, do you? It's a laboratory pizza, then. Okay. I had a reference shot. I had my Dragonflight Hunter layout. Really? Is that all I had? Uh, general images. Don't I have, like, a reference graphics section? Resto Druid bars? I don't know if I save my Shadow Priest bars. Alright, this is gonna drive me nuts. <laughs> I'll be right back. Listen, we're gonna get we're gonna get into some juicy content. Well, juicier than this. This is already delicious manga. If only you had recorded some of your gameplay somewhere. Mm, messy though. Messy to messy to pull up and have the right size of the thing without I only have so much monitor space here. I just grab real quick. No more pirates life for me. Dean 40 ran out in Plunderstorm yesterday or today? Nice. Mm. Wowhead had a had a video of the Druid Flight Form Dragon Riding. I think I think we watched it yesterday. 
Okay, so let me just take a real quick screen grab of these bars so that I have a idea. And I'm going to save it this time. <laughs> uh, into my screenshots folder. Let's say Shadow Priest Dragonflight Bars. Because otherwise I'm going to be reinventing the wheel and I'm going to do it a little differently. And then I'm going to make myself crazy the next time I try to actually play Shadow. <laughs> I do that with Hunters. I level Hunters all the time. And normally I just guess where I like to put my buttons and I do it like 5% differently every time. So I used to have like four different hunters and they all had a different keybind for kill command. <sighs> uh, here, I'll check on the I'll check on the flight form thing. I imagine dynamic flight form is just getting into regular flight form while you have sky riding enabled, so I would be very surprised if it wasn't instant cast. Um, it very much should be. Woo! Yeah, you're still you're still instant cast. <laughs> it takes. I think it'll take a little bit of practice to um, to take off because it'll take a little bit of practice to take off. Because um, you're used to being able to just kind of like, I don't know, levitate <laughs> as a druid when you when you've been after you hit the keybind, and you're gonna have to you know get into flight form and then uh, and then uh, and then you know like lift off. But yeah, same thing. <laughs> do a barrel roll. I'm out of vigor. <laughs> Can't do it. Sorry. Like that evokers can normal fly with soar. Yeah. Okay. So, um, this goes here and then here, there, there, there. That's fine. This one goes here and here, here, here. Do I have dominate mind on that bar? I have some like extra keybinds that we can kind of repurpose. What is this button? Path of the Plague. <laughs> oh, it's my it's my dungeon portals. How many? Whoa. <laughs> How many dungeon portals are we looking at here? Heroes Path, Shadowlands. Okay, it's just the Shadowlands ones right now. Wasn't I a human priest in Shadowlands? I wonder if that's just for testing, because I guess I didn't copy my account data. Because that's funny, because I have the portals that I didn't earn in this character, but I don't have the portals that I did earn on this character. Oh well. <laughs> um, what else am I doing here? This is Shadow where Death goes on six. This goes on shift six. The spells on shift four. The disease, I think, is becomes alt four. Mm. Is anything else not in its place before I go digging for new buttons? I like to keep a priest. A feather macro. <laughs> Very important. Try that. Make sure I did it right. Wow, that that spellbook is just a little too big. It's blocking my bars. No. There we go. Just a self buff. No putting the feather on the floor. <sighs> Can't wait till those are cat wide. It's gonna be so nice. Um. Okay. So that was angelic feather levitate. I also need to macro to cast to myself because I have died way too many times jumping off of something. Um. And then levitating like an NPC that's on the cliff edge. Try that. That should be on eight. And uh, I know we can like fly and stuff, but yeah, there we go. <laughs> that's nice. Okay. Uh, mind vision, I don't worry about. Power to fort, that we're gonna need. 
Resurrection I usually stash over there somewhere. Desperate pair, that's important. Ish. Did I really not have a keybind for that once upon a time? That's funny. I can throw it over there. Uh, PI, very important. I keep that over there. Mind Soothe, people make me do this. No one's going to make me do this in Alpha, but I want to say like Shift 5. Void Torrent's on 4. Shadow Crash is on that one. And then, oh, that's kind of cool. You can see the spellbook for um, classes that you don't have, or specs that you're not currently in. Neat, all right. Happy with that. Oh, uh, one more. I want to have um, just my Shadow Form button. Just so that I can get back in if I if I um, have not done it. Oh, we're gonna have a purple shadow form. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I want that interface there. That uh, uh, what do you call that thing? The oh, hang on. Always show nameplates for sure. Minions and minor. Very good. Uh, In-game nav tutorials. Maybe I'll keep tutorials. Mm, class colors. Important. Minor frames. I should probably turn on like auto loot if I haven't already. Oh, there we go. Auto loot. Happy with that? Yeah, more or less. Personal resource display. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. Tour the trading post. Ah, yes. The most important content that needs doing. I want to test out a few of these, um, I want to test out a few of these mounds. Also, I want to change my transmog because this outfit's not working for me. Do we have anything else that is handy that we can put on that will be more out of my way? We can, we can just hide a bunch of stuff here. Maybe grab, like, a nice... I have, like, a lot of collection in here. I don't know if it's my collection specifically or if this is just, a. Uh, like, they've just given you some stuff for Alpha, but... <laughs> this is not the important thing that I need to be testing right now. There's... 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 Ooh, there you go. If I get... If I get new transmog, I'll wear that. But for the moment... There we go. That's nice. Just so that she's not a. Just so that she's not like I don't know, overwhelming the the mount. Because I wanted to look at a few of these different mounts. I wanted to see what the soaring spell tome looks like. Do I have it? I do. <laughs> With uh, dynamic flying. <gasps> oh. What is my keybind for the whirling surge? Oh, I don't have enough vigor already. Oh, because I only have three vigor. Oh, I need to find that script. I'll have to look into that. Oh, I'm so happy. That's excellent. This, this, this sells the whole expansion just like that for me. That's all I needed. You see the overall for herbalism. I briefly skimmed it. Slash run. Dragon writings. Panel skills. Hang on. Let me uh, mess with this. On click. And then maybe like a reload. What are we saying? No. That didn't do it. If it doesn't work, go to Valdraken. Okay. Do what in Valdraken? <laughs> no preserved holly to test for a super fast reindeer. No. I don't think so. I should just turn my tutorials off since they're gonna drive me nuts. Where is the menu to spend those glyphs? Which hero talent you taking? I don't know yet. Uh, Valdraken portal doesn't work. The 
Is the boat there? I'll go look. Um, Eve's Ghastly Rider is on the dynamic list. However, I can't type. It's also not in the list of mounts that I have access to right now. <laughs> Does the warboard give dragonflight quests? I just want um the rest of I just want more than three vigor because otherwise this is gonna be awkward because we're dragon riding around the new zone or sky riding, pardon me, around the new areas. So waking sh yeah, there is a boat to the waking shores. Yeah, it's this one. I'll try taking the boat. If this bricks it, I'm holding someone accountable. <laughs> I don't know who, but someone. Uh, yeah, I had the brackets on the end. I can try it again. I can try it one more time. Nothing. Nada. Surely one of your airships would be fast. I reloaded after running it as well. Why are you playing new zones? I'm trying to get set up. I suppose that is an understandable fear for a flightless creature. I wonder if people who played all of Dragon Right Dragon R Flight. Especially streamers that talked a lot during it are ever gonna not say dragon riding. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. Well, we're in the waking shores. <laughs> For all the good that does. Do I have a scuddy map toy? Actually, there was no scouting map toy for um, for Valdrakan anyway, or for Dragonflight. Because I'm sure this character wouldn't have any uh, stuff. Here, I'll try. I'll try your script. Darda. Also, not doing anything. <sighs> well. <laughs> We might just have to do- we might just have to make do with three vigor for the moment. I'm sure it's something that they're gonna get sorted in, uh, in alpha eventually. This isn't something that we've, like, done wrong or anything. Yeah, we gotta get out of Dragonflight. This is depressing. Maybe it's in the spell book? We were just looking in the spell book. No. What if I get in like a dragon? Like one that had dragon riding originally, like a renewed proto drake. No. Oh well, I got nothing. <laughs> Those were all my ideas. I tried a bunch of uh I tried a bunch of stuff. There's no dragon talents in the spell book. I think they I just have to wait for them to fix it. <laughs> Depressing. You can't get off and go play dragon play. That's no good. Let's look at the adventure journal. What do they want us to actually go do? Adventure journal. Trading post, collective cash, heritage armor. This is all old stuff. Oh yeah, there was a person that would let me test out hero talents. Oh yeah, there's all the testing NPCs here. We're back. <sighs> War within Wayfinder. So I have options. I can unlock all my hero talent points and level up to 71 to get access to them. Oh, I see. So they, they, they put you at level 71, but they give you all your hero talents, which you wouldn't normally unlock until later, but they, they nerf your damage and healing. Um, so you can play around with them. I don't think that I want to do that. Um, I think I would like to just, like... Well... Should I do it for testing purposes? It sounds awful. Um, I would rather level to 71 the old-fashioned way and then, like, 
look at the system and like pick a hero talent, but I don't know if that's the sporting thing to do. <sighs> yes, yes, we looked at the general temp of the spell, but we got, we got nothing. Uh, spend points, try to look in mount tab. Spend points where? We toggled our flight style. <laughs> yeah, that's that just turns sky riding on and off. We've done that already. Hmm. Can you show us how flying horses look with new flight? Mm -hmm. In the general tab, there is sky riding. Surge forward, skyward ascent, vigor, lift off, thrill of the skies, winds of the skies, whirling surge, bronze time lock, aerial halt, switch flight style. Those are your dragon riding abilities that you get in your bar. We have those. It's the talents that we're missing. I think that if you level to 71 natty, you can't get all the hero talents via Torm. I think that's probably true. Um, but you could also, like, just make another character and then and then do it the other way as well. <sighs> um I kind of want to test both. Cuz I'm not I don't <laughs> I'm not going to be a great a uh, resource on hero talents cuz cuz I feel like it's so wonky to test all of them at a level that you wouldn't normally have them with your numbers nerfed to compensate. That's like such a weird environment in which to try to like figure them out. Hmm. You do have a druid to test as well. Yeah, because we could make another we could make another character. I just spent all this time setting this one up. I kinda wanna do this one naturally. Yeah, let's just let's just let's just do it normal. And then we can always make another character and then and then mess around with the hero talents. Because I've been running that script. It, it hasn't been doing anything for me. It's possible that this is a different... Um... Here, I'll try again. <laughs> I'll try as many times as, as, uh, as I can. Mm. Oh, I'm covered in rocks. There may be some mild story spoilers, but I'm uh I'm not gonna be like paying a wild amount of attention here to the the details. Twenty eight gold. It's not bad for a starting starting expansion quest uh quest to mail. All right, there's a good question. How do you enable scripts? Is that not by default? Is there a script that enables scripts? Because, uh, yeah, no. Still nothing. Mr. Jim tweeted yesterday about the dragon running script. Did he, did he tell me why it's broken? His work. Oh, okay. I don't know. I'm out of ideas. <laughs> oh. I was gonna say it's nice that we've got like blue sky and fresh air, but I have a feeling it's not gonna last for long. <laughs> Maps look different. That's just uh, that's just alpha. Maps not finished yet. That's what the the map looks like when it's in development. It's like the actual topographic view of things um they do the art the art skin for maps later usually pretty close to the end yeah yeah no i'm not gonna bring up the dev console fiance and i really appreciated your advice for plunder storm oh nice i hope you guys uh i hope you guys get all of the rewards that you want I like the topographic view map better. I figured some people might. 
<sighs> yeah, I don't know where technically we are, but I'm also not too worried about it as long as I can get here and back. <laughs> How did all these people end up under all these rocks? Poor uh, work workplace safety. I can't believe we're already testing a new expansion. I feel like we were just- I was just launching the expedition out of the waking shores and talking to that nice dragon that I later found out, like, died really early. <laughs> so many things to discover. I can't believe we're already- oh no, I didn't tag the, the star mob. Oh well. You were in Storm One two 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 seconds ago. Yeah, I decided to start uh, to start the new content. I decided to start it without all the hero talents because I figure I'm. It's there's, there's enough new stuff going on without me not knowing what my buttons do. Nice dragon friend dies. I didn't say which nice dragon friend. <sighs> Hi, Kitty. Welcome back. How you doing? Do I have a very important pet battle tracking on? There we go. If we see any wild pets, we must we must find them. Very important. Well, let's things back up. Quest log looks really nice. Uh, did Kira have a period of time as a kitten young cat where she was not a lap cat and then evolved into one? I don't strictly remember, but I do know that one of the things that made me excited that like that that told me that this was my cat was when we visited her at the shelter and we got to like say hi in like a little visiting room she like crawled onto my lap immediately and snuggled up and passed out um and then it was like this this cat has chosen me i have to have this cat <laughs> this, is, this is this is my kitty cat uh i think she's always been she's always been a pretty cuddly girl hmm. here is spellbook Step one, subjugate local fauna. I got a crafting reagent called a null stone. Sometimes gathered by players with the mining skill can be bought and sold on the auction. It sounds like a new, what do they have, salts? It's the mining version of lava beetle. Okay. okay. Did I get the, uh, did I get the quest? Also, I think we can probably untrack this toward the trading post quest. A null stone, not a null stone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Did they let Cadgar drive the doll around? <laughs> How old was she? I also don't remember exactly, but small. She was she was kitten. She was she was little baby little baby kitten. <laughs> Need this belt too. Um, hold off, Queen's Guard. She's coming. Hmm. Some of these guys I can't um fight like they're they're not technically hostile to me. You cannot let the world fall. I can't help Jaina with the ones that she's working on. Let's go stand right in the middle of this. Ah, there we go. Found it. <laughs> Love that you just passed a tour and named Holy Cat! Found the 200 foot bug. Been through the two kitten phases, not sure I, I will again. Skip the menace to society phase and adopt a cat that had a harder time getting a home. It's funny because um, that's kind of how I feel. I mean, Moose is still a puppy and he's going to be like super wild for a while because dogs are still pretty energetic when they're young. 
but um i also feel like uh, i i've 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 raised more or less raised a puppy and i don't know if i have it in me to do it again <laughs> I need long enough to, enough time, but I don't feel that way about cats because it's been so long since Kira was a little baby kitten that I've forgotten um, what demons they are when they're babies. And uh, and now I'm like, yeah, yeah, I can do that again. <laughs> Be totally different. You just you just gotta wait for the amnesia to kick in. <sighs> Insert cutscene here. The crab filter is great. They aren't always, if you get two of them. Puppy just turned one Wednesday, and I'm like, yeah, I think I'm good at the puppy phase, too. <laughs> Happy birthday to your puppy. Your puppy's almost the same age as my puppy. Mine is going to be one in, like, three weeks. And uh, I'm going to need to make him a... I was thinking of just buying him, like, a, like a, a nice cut of meat, which is something I don't normally shop for. <laughs> but then... Then trying to trying to like cook something for him, so that I can like know that it's not just like you know like a a whopper you know like something that's not got like a ton of extra stuff in it, but also I feel like the gesture is and he won't get this because he's a dog and he doesn't know but like I <laughs> I don't eat meat so I wouldn't cook it for myself but you know if it's Moosey's birthday, slipstream followed optional. Get him a pile of moss. Oh, the poor guy almost got to eat a french fry last night. Um, I, I, I dropped a french fry, and by virtue of, like, uh, spasming, I accidentally, like, flung it right in front of his face. And then he just very, like, calmly and gently, like, went to go start eating it. And then I took it out of his mouth. <laughs> because I'm mean, and because he's never had a fry, and I don't want to open that door. I pulled this, this fully formed french fry out of my dog's lips. And, and, uh... He's, I think he still loves me, but I, I owe him something good for his birthday. <laughs> Heartbreaking. He doesn't get he doesn't get um he doesn't get junk food. I shouldn't even be eating it. After that, I said I'm I'm done with the fries too. <laughs> Bad enough. Got her like two weeks after you got moose meat or pumpkin pancakes. Aww. Adopted a kitten last year. It was rough. Such a menace. So cute. How about a toy Taurus? Eh. Like a car? <laughs> like a bull. You've lost me. <laughs> For moose? Wow, she eats this amazing stuff all the time, doesn't share. You know what's really funny is that if my partner and I get burgers, my partner gets a beef burger and I get a veggie burger, Moose doesn't get either burger because he's uh, he doesn't get people food unless it's something that's like, you know, banana or carrots or something that I know he can have then I'll make him his own little dish. But uh, he doesn't get burger. And he, but he wants mine. He wants the veggie burger. He's like very intrigued and very interested in vegetarian burgers he'll walk right by i wonder if it's because like he's had beef like he gets beef liver treats and stuff so beef is a known quantity to him but he wants to know what's in <laughs> like the impossible ones like why is it like that but he's always like really in my business if i have a veggie burger <laughs> he is a taurus star sign oh yeah that's right same thing with fries. Dropped a tiny bit of pretzels one time. She goes crazy whenever I eat pretzels now. We have an almost 16 year old dog I cook for. Aww. Um, there we go. I don't remember Thrall being this big. Did they make him grayer? They made him grayer. This is excellent. <laughs> Salt and pepper Thrall! cook chicken rice for my dogs for a brief moment when they had stomach issues and it's more work than I expected to keep up with. I Moose also had a chicken and rice moment and um, I think he's been he's been trying to figure out how to make that happen again ever since. <laughs> oh, do they make him wider too, please? <laughs> hmm. 
Nobody's getting younger after all. Oh my gosh, look at Anduin. Hang on, let me make sure that's Anduin. Okay, it is Anduin. He's got braids. He's also like, oh no, he doesn't have braids. I thought he had like a braid across the front of his head. He's just got like, you good kitty cat? Hairball? Um, he's, he's, uh, he's got some scrapies. He's a little wrinkly. His beard looks so different from the beards that, that human characters get. I'm so fascinated by this model. <laughs> <laughs> He's seen some stuff, yeah. Alright. <laughs> His chin is so pointy. Yeah. Uh, I could transmog these new ropes, but they're not actually an upgrade. Clear the debris and rescue Earth on the way to place. I love Baby Dwarf Boy's new model. I'm putting on the new robes just so we can feel dragonflight or not dragonflighty. War with any. <laughs> I haven't um I mean I guess dragonflight didn't have like a great way to shorten it verbally. We, we had the the DF acronym or acronym abbreviation. Acronym's right, right? I'm not an M type. Um you know, we could shorten it in writing, but when when speaking about it, it was pretty much just dragonflight, you know. There was no mop equivalent. Meowdy partners. Meowdy. Initialism. There you go. Uh, is there music? I have it, I'm pretty sure, turned on. I just don't know if it's in. Yeah, it's turned on. It's looping. It's just not... They they may not have it implemented yet. I know Dragonflight got music, like, late. Because I remember in the Dragonflight alpha, which feels like a million years ago now, but also, like, yesterday, there was a thing where I was like, oh, we can preview this music early. Like, Flabby found out that there was a campfire in the Azure span that you could stand on that would play the zone music. Um, but you wouldn't hear it anywhere else. <laughs> I thought that was really cool. Nymeria7, thank you for the 19-month reso. <laughs> it's wow, we have all the acronyms. Every single one. Because War Within can't be W. I mean, it can be WW, but it's. Um, I feel like Windwalker has kind of laid claim to that one already. And we don't need another DM versus VC war of 2024. Maybe <laughs> we call this one Wow Wow. <laughs> uh, Flabby does know that I have Alpha. He does not have it at this time. <laughs> Poor Flabby said something cool. Dub Dub. <laughs> I like Dub Dub. Uh, speak to people. Yeah, TWW doesn't roll off the tongue when speaking. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, no, no keys. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm gonna take a short break. We've got an ad progress, an, an ad break going, anyways. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up for a minute and I'll come back. I promise. All right. Hello. We're back. Yeah, at least we have some game sound, even if we don't have any game music. Oh, I hate when sandwiches are over. Mm. I understand. Speak to innkeeper. Marsh. Not to be dense, but where? <laughs> this is kind of a cool thing. Is a. Uh, you know, you could you could probably install that in your home, and it would be very expensive. <laughs> t and &E with a raid! Welcome raiders, gem vault. <laughs> the Victrix. Mm, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you guys had a lovely stream. <laughs> welcome to... My gnome is currently sneaking around War Within Alpha without picking up her feet. She is Silver Surfer. <laughs> I don't know why, if we're being honest. I don't know what it is that I've done. I wonder if I need to relaunch because the people that I need to talk to are not here. <laughs> it's not a, oh no, hang on, we just gotta use a button. That'll do it. I think. It'll do something. <laughs> hmm. Oh, they're memory gems. Oh, I thought they were just keeping their shinies. <laughs> The old arch nemesis is back. Extra action button. Mm. Okay. 
bring that up the stairs. I am still surfing. I wonder if that is not to do with the quest and if it's just that I've broken something. <laughs> I see. I was looking for something in the wrong place. We're all good now. It's just their snack stash. Oh yeah. I know I should be like s trying out different mounts so that I can see how various different versions look when dragon riding. Just kind of for fun. But it's so hard to get off the spell tone when I know the spell tone can do it. <laughs> All these watch streak rewards gonna crack two mil acorns in no time. Thanks you doing the shadow scoot. Oh, we're back. We're better. I wonder if it had to do with getting on this mount, because she does surf. Well, no, actually she doesn't surf like that. Never mind. <laughs> Different posture. Well, this is lovely. Look how pretty this is. Look at how hang on, let me get out of shadow from a little bit. You know what it makes it pretty is a little bit of greenery. You know, you got some trees up there, you got a little you got some flowering plants that are climbing on the walls. It's nice. appreciate it. Hello. What do you want? I'm going to I'm going to stand over here. <laughs> I'm trying to look up your uh, your clothes. Do you want to know about news from outside the city? Crossroads is a key place for Earthen to exchange information and goods no matter their allegiances or edicts. My friend Bondas, an official that maintains the square, he'd be delighted to see you in person. All right. <laughs> nice and full of spiders in a bit probably. <laughs> You check out Mimiron's head. I'll take a look. Introduce yourself and probably make this in your home if I had to guess. What else is in here? Oh, and when a Magni hanging out. Magni's changed. Didn't he used to be glitter glitterier? Has he just gotten a bit dingy? <laughs> someone someone polished Magni. He used to be sparkly. Cooking training. Kazlogar cooking. Give it. Oh, thank you. Now we're now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> I really enjoyed testing Pandaria Remix, but I definitely miss professions. So that begs the question: Where does the profession spellbook go? Oh, there it is. Found it. Uh, cooking. So I'll stick cooking over there, along with the fire. <laughs> <laughs> he lost a lot of his arena games. Went from diamond to silver. <laughs> Shine's worn off. Part of the story. Uh, okay. Um, what can so chopped mica bloom? Chop a mica bloom to create an ingredient. It'll destroy the herb. The amount of chopped mica bloom created is determined by your cooking skill and the reagent quality. You can also fillet fish. You can portion meat. Interesting. You can basically, like, disenchant or scrap or prospect different meats. Salvage, yeah, you can salvage meat, fish, and cheap herbs. And I'm assuming it's going to give you mats that you need for all this stuff. Didn't they do that in... They did something kind of like that in BSA, I thought. There was some reason that, like, the base cheap fish kept value through the expansion to some extent. Wow, well, introduces processed food, salvaged meats. Mm -hmm. Fish, fish oil, fish oil. That's what I'm thinking of. That's that's what it was. I'm interested to at some point. Hang on, what do we got for cooking supplies? Oh, bless you. <laughs> for, we have onar and potatoes. Well, I don't think we'll need those. Hopefully. Um, there must be profession trainers. I want to pick up herbalism because I'm very curious about these new gathering mechanics. Um, I guess I'm not expecting to find an herbalist deep in the underdark here, but like, is this not the cutest? I know that these people are like gravely injured, but like, is this not the cutest little, little <laughs> bed and breakfast? <laughs> Look at that tankard. Look at this. It's so big. It's bigger than me. Actually, is it? It's not bigger than me. It's almost bigger than me. Hang on. I can stand on it. Those are some stiff bubbles if they can support. <laughs> if they can support a no Snow White when she's cleaning the dwarves' homes. <laughs> Reading about invisible herbs in Wowhead's post. 
Yeah, something about how you can spec knowledge points into being able to see them without a flask, but in the meantime, if you want to save your knowledge points for other stuff, you can use like an alchemist created item to see them. Well, that was kind of neat. <laughs> no, my PA. <sighs> I might have a chipmunk in my basement. I really hope that you don't. That would be a tricky thing to help out of there. Okay. Oh, hey, it's Brian. How you doing? You made it? What's going on here? This all just looks so nice. Everything's so pretty. He's got a... He's got a... The, the thing that was always really sharp. <laughs> he's got all kinds of tools and stuff. I want to call it a compass. That might be right. Puts the meaning in pint-sized. <laughs> compass, yeah, exactly. Um... Poisonous Fungarian Helm. Ooh. I see mannequins. So this is Resonance Crystals. I was reading about this. What was the deal with this? Just for cosmetics? Jumpians. Get a live trap and some sunflower seeds. That's how I got my chipmunks. Oh. I did. <sighs> okay. And then I'm supposed to... There's a couple different places we can go. So we could go pursue side quests. We've got a whole zone worth of them out here. Is there a trading post? Oh, so this is like the city, eh? This, yeah, we're in, this is the new capital city. This is, as far as I can understand, the Valdraken of the War Within. Unless there's like a new different one deeper, but I think this is it. There's a trading post here, yeah. Or an absolutely trading poster. What do you got? <laughs> Nothing. Same stuff it looks like as uh, as before. As old as our vibes. <laughs> the woods. Can confirm chipmunks like sunflower seeds. Don't like bread. Lilac Panda, thank you very much for the brand new sub. Appreciate it. Welcome to our alpha stream. So if this is a city, show me where the i'm looking for a guard that can tell me stuff hang on it's beautiful look at him go what are you what are you carrying me oh oh i wanted to ride around in the ram cart i would pay actual gold not often but once uh oh sworn citizen gem appraiser with a Z. I wonder if that means anything. <sighs> I want to see... I wonder if we haven't fully populated with... We've got scroll trader, scroll vendor. They don't do anything yet, though. <laughs> okay, it's a million gold. Interested? Find the war within bench. The war within bench. I could try to find a bench. Oh, I found a mailbox. What's in here? Oh, hang on. We've got profession trainers. We've got profession trainers. Alert, alert. Alchemy. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, yeah. And an alchemy table. <laughs> they are not going anywhere. It's in like a little dark area now. If you're exploding, you can do so in private. Bench, rip bench. Any secluded bench where you can sit and wait. Oh. Uh-huh. Main city hub, give me the same feeling Borellis has. It's cute. Yeah, I like that we can drag and ride around in. That's good. Transformation trainer. Oh, so this is like a like a like a dragon riding rostrum. As you explore the dragon isles and beyond. That's funny, she has the same text as the old rostrum items. Um So if we get on a renewed proto Drake, then we can uh, we can customize it again. Not much, because I don't have anything unlocked. Mm. I have one of Boreal's, Orobos, and Veldraken. We need one here, or the X-Pack is ruined. Let me see what I can do. Does it have to be a bench? It can't be a chair. It needs to be a bench, huh? I feel like there must be some jewel crafting. I'm also, I'm going to find, oh, there's herbalism. Oh, yeah, of course there is. Look at them go. Man, that's technology. 
<laughs> I need that. Hello. Can I have some herb blossom, please? Thank you. You can have a hundred gold. And then there's an herb supplies vendor. A lot of the vendors just aren't interactable yet, and that's fine. But we have herbalism, so we can be tracking herbs. Very good. Hmm. Had a flavor buff where you sit on a bench called bench warmer. Alright, so when you get to the middle of the city, there's a blacksmithing trainer in there. Tasty ore bars. Would you like to try an ore treat? I have iron treats, copper, gold, minerals, everything your body needs. Oh, he's got the tequila sunrise beard. You're telling me my shaman could have been a professional water sprinkler this whole time? Listen, when you're looking for careers, sometimes you gotta think outside the box. Weapon trader, yeah. Vendors. I need a bench. <laughs> I know that we're mainly joking, but I'm kind of taking this seriously. Stable master. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Lovely little, little stone ram stables. I like the city, it's cute. A book vendor. Can't can't speak to her yet, but book vendor. It does look like um it's not like <laughs> like we don't have an enormous tower to dragon right off the top of this time, but that's probably okay. I can mainly make my peace with that. Want those rams as pets? We are not joking, this is life or death. Alright. Um can I interest you in a cute mailbox? <laughs> Guessing, guessing not. We've got, what are these things? Watering cans. Um, those look like, uh, for cleaning up the city, like an, like a, what do you call it? Like a broom and a, a dustpan? <laughs> Dustpans? And then big piles of stuff. There's wheelbarrows. And there you've got a bunch of steins. Very important. I wonder, um, I wonder what scrolls they're going to, sell there. They said they were not doing raid buff scrolls. Uh, we have our Isle of Dorne that way, Coreway, Foregrounds, and Foundation Hall. Interesting. Remind me what's through here. This is a big city, but I guess that makes sense because we can um, oh, this is the place where there is combat. We can drag and ride in here eventually with more than three uh, <laughs> figure. I have not yet found the dwarf sauna. This looks like a nice dwarf shower. How funny would it be if this hurts me? Ugh. No. <laughs> now that'll get the, the lice out of your hair. <sighs> Friendly lava. Mm. What do we got? Catalyst steward. Ah, the catalyst of creation. It's a marvel that even words struggle to capture. What does it do? If you find two fractured sparks of omen, you could combine them to create a spark. Yeah, it's a crafting spark thing. Okay. <laughs> um, go stand in the blacksmith area if you want to get hurt. Let's see. We've got foregrounds workers. Machine smiths. This is all cool. There's the engineering trainer. Does this hurt? You'd think it would. It looks hot. I like the um I like the heat wave effect. I think that's kind of cool. Mm. Big hammer. Oh. There are skeletons. We have to do it, right? Hang on, let me walk in here first. This looks like I could walk right through it. <laughs> oh, hang on. I cannot. I can't walk through there. You can kind of go in, but there's an invisible wall. Hang on, let me get my RP walk keybind sorted. No, not all these. Although now I have a... Uh, It makes such an ominous sound. <laughs> that 
That's exactly what I knew was going to happen. And I didn't think it would actually be funny to me, but the thing that really made it was my gnome going, oh. <laughs> All right, well, we got a spirit healer up here on the hill. That's nice. <laughs> the blood splatter is a nice touch. That is incredible, and I hope it stays. Oh, 10 out of 10 wouldn't change anything. <laughs> I need to make that an achievement. Okay. So, still haven't found a bench. Be funny if you were stuck on top. Big hole, underground city? I think it's just a different part of the city. I never did find a nice place to sit. Hmm. There must be. Kind of like out by the inns and stuff. There's tables out here. Can I interest you in a low chair? <laughs> it's got a it's got one of those uh one of those bubbly pints. Hmm. Add bug report, no ventures, so many views. I mean, maybe I just haven't found them yet. And a bench for the bench, no chairs allowed. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hang on. Do 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 <laughs> This is why people get alpha, right? <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Expansion saved. I was genuinely a little worried. I don't know why. I was right by the trading post before too. I wonder why I didn't see it. Anyways, uh I'm gonna go mess around with this quest because it's not a campaign quest, and I wanna see what else they have over there. We have herbalism as well, so maybe we can uh, maybe we can poke around and pick a few herbs. What if that bench was bugged? <laughs> We'd test it. <laughs> Do you have a favorite feature from another game you enjoy that you want to see a version done for well? In-depth permanent farm feature. I heard that we're getting. I don't know if it's if it's like Stardews, but I heard that there will be a farm of some kind um, in coming along in uh, in in this expansion. I, I briefly saw a Wowhead headline that I skimmed right past. An outlander! That's me. You're welcome. And then there's a bunch of side quests here. That's kind of cool. Entrepreneur of shiny things. <laughs> Benchworks is intended. Hmm. <laughs> Will it dovetail with mop farming? I don't know a thing about it at this time. Join us on Dalaran, they said. It'll be great, they said. <laughs> Good thing I can swim! Tubes almost drowned me trying to carry him to safe land. He latched himself onto my back. Quote, just dig through the water. Oh, well, we lived. <laughs> I have so much science to tell you about. Uh, they want to go look for... Isn't he one of the... Yeah, he's wearing the Azerothian archive stuff. There he is. <laughs> what area does the war within take place in? Uh, new. Kazalgar. Where that is in Azeroth, I don't know. Um somewhere. <laughs> Spoilers got a dip. Meet Urtago at Fallside Outpost. Mischievous Kobolds. You betcha. West of Pandaria. Mm. A bunch of added mechanics for herbalism. Mm. Uh, and a dropped package. Anybody want it? Open with care. Contains volatile elemental material. What if this just explodes before we get there? <laughs> Preserved for the ages. <sighs> well, when this comes out and you're looking for your spots by the trading post, there might be more. I'm gonna I'm gonna end up riding crown mounts because I'm I don't have I don't have any vigor. Random war within dungeon. I guess I can see if um, somebody's talking in the in the channel. I wonder if they if the, a DPS is needed for group finder. That would be kind of fun. Hang on, there's a pet. There's a fragrant stone lamb. Hold on, hold everything. We need it's a critter. 
we need Grumpy with Howl and Super Bark, and then give me like I don't know, Icky and what else do I like to use? A Nexus Whelpling? Sure, why not? I must see it. That's incredible. That's magnificent. I must have it. <laughs> ah, it's green quality. There's also a granite ramolith and another fragrant stone lamp. I'm going to get the green quality one. <laughs> it's got like lavender on its back or something. It's so pretty. What should she name the sheep? I was thinking it looks like a Vivian. Although now I have to wait for Supermark to come off cooldown. I didn't realize they can they can heal themselves. They've got a oh, oh no, we're still good. We're still in the threshold. Crowner kept reloading, eventually got that script yesterday. Seems mega buggy. Okay. <sighs> I'll look into it at some point. <laughs> I'm so happy. Mm, 347. I mean, this will be fine. Wow, the thing really heals up. <laughs> I kind of thought it was going to be a gimme. Script broke when they disabled add-ons overnight. Oh. Did Krendor get it going this morning? This is a beast type, apparently. I was wondering if it was going to be elemental. I'm glad battle, but music never changes. They have a pet battle specific issue reported. It's cute. Hmm. Oh, I need to see if there's new achievements. That's- I'll, I'm gonna check that after this. Specifically- oh, I didn't even set up my bars properly. Or, specifically, I want to look and see if they've got pet battle achievements in yet. And if so, if there's anything intriguing. Ram is a good looking pet. We need pet battle season rewards. We need pet battle season activities. <laughs> this is too exciting. It's too much. I'm too happy. I'm getting itchy. Alright. One fragrant stone lamp. <laughs> is it pretty big? It is pretty big. I dub thee Vivian. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. I wanted to see pet battles. So there's an achievement called... Hang on. I think that might have been a dragonflight achievement. I think I just didn't do it. Help Lubbins get his mojo back. Um... Okay. We've got some Kazalgar ones. We've got Dragonkin Battler of Kazalgar. Critter Battler of Kazalgar. Family Battler of the Dragon Elves. I definitely did that. Battle in Kazalgar. Eight pet battle world quests with full team of level 25 pets. Okay, okay, okay. Is there a meta? Not that I can see, actually. I wonder why not. Unless I'm just missing it. There are, like, there are family-specific... Maybe they just haven't implemented it yet, because they have family-specific achievements for Kazalgar. Hmm. What do you think of the skippers? I don't know what that means. Battle pets look like regular hunter pets on gnomes. Standard stuff. Yeah, I just wanted to know if there was, like, a specific reward. I could probably spend my entire day looking through just the pet journal. At all the things that I don't have yet. Assuming that I can find some that are <laughs> new. Webbers! <laughs> Do you think Weber's is affected by the arachnophobia filter? Or what? <laughs> There's 
no flavor text yet. I need to know more about Webbers. But he's so cute. <laughs> Is he going to be a cute crab? What else? We've got Waddles. Incredible. Stunning. Magnificent. No notes. <laughs> I actually haven't found the filter yet. That's a good point. Um, let's see. We've got... We've got... It should be options. Accessibility. Arachnophobia mode. Okay. And then we can reload. Because I want to check... Um, I have a... Um... I have a blood, a blood widow, blood thing widow. So with this mode on, it it doesn't affect the journal, <laughs> but with the with the um, the arachnophobia filter turned on, getting onto the blood thing widow basically summons the blue sideways crab that they gave us for. Honestly, I completely forget what they gave us this for, but I'm pretty sure it's. It's the blue version of this, but we got it for like trading posts or something. <laughs> modern problems require modern solutions. They're like the wobble pet. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's real good. <sighs> Cause yeah, there was a, there was a new one. Oh well. What about the vicious war spider? Same thing. Same, same, same crab map. Now I'm assuming that the Scrap Forge Mecha Spider, yeah, that has survived. It's called a spider, but it's only got four legs. Hmm. Also, dragon rides. <laughs> Pretty cool. Some of them summon the orange crab instead. Mm. All right, hang on. I found more. I found more pets. There's a bedrock stone charger. It's a beast. I need to put a mech pet into my uh, into my roster here, even if it's just a llama dog. So bedrock stone charger is another ram. We also have. I need to catch that ghost cap thing. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but it's coming home with me. Saga, the filter um, isn't giving you a different mount. It's just giving certain mounts a different appearance, so it wouldn't matter whether or not you have a crab mount already on your account. Yeah, the spider mount turns into a crab with anti-spider mode. Okay. I'm skipping that ram because I need this. I need this. It, come on out of the bush. I need to get a good look at you. <laughs> oh, man. Do you think it has any opinions about clever meat? Hmm. Try gargoyle mounts. Wondering about animations. Yeah, yeah. We'll take a look at that in a sec. <laughs> That's a nice pet. He's so angry. It does. He does say menace. He doesn't say ghost cat. Pleasant fellow to be around. <laughs> there must always be a like in game. Dude, the podlings in Worlds of Draenor were unironically kind of horrifying. They ate people. <laughs> they like capered and rhymed and consumed human flesh. That's pretty messed up. Uh, yeah, I think I'm in trouble here. 231. Yeah, we can do it again. <laughs> of course it's planting. I like that it has both spikes and additional mushrooms coming out of the mushroom cap. That's pretty cute. And then there's a frog pet that's just like a regular frog, but the name is Troglafrog.
need Froglador to go with it. See, now I'm curious. I wouldn't put it past them to do that. Um, Poliswog was Deldrazus. Nah. Subterranean Dartswog. There are some nice, uh, nice frogs that look new. But mushrooms got mushrooms. X Arthur, thank you for the 23 month reset. Your best kitty. She is a very nice kitty. Alright, we are up one ghost cat menace. Let's take a proper look at it. That is a wild elemental pet available to capture in Hallowfile, Isle of Dorne, and the Ringing Deeps. It has a bunch of stuff. It is also pretty big, although most things are pretty big when you're a gnome. Oh man, look at the swagger that thing has. <laughs> it's given uh, Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas, but in a Halloween costume, ironically. <laughs> I don't know how you play with a lap cat. Foster's on my lap and is an obstruction. When she's on my lap, I'm totally cool. It's when she tries to sit on my desk in front of my keyboard or like she tries to lay down on top of my mouse hand. That's a problem. <laughs> I can't tell if that's horrifying or cute. <laughs> Hmm. Eh, I think I'm getting distracted, but I guess I also that's fine because it's not like we have a specific. I want you know what I want to find. Is I want to find an herb. We're on the Isle of Dorne. There must be some out here somewhere. Oh, and we were gonna look into um gargoyle mounts. So not the gargun mounts. Then fear mounts. Look at all these dynamics flying, man. Yeah, like a Graveling. There you go. <laughs> I only have three Vigor to play around with because I haven't been able to get the, uh, the thing working. Dig. Hmm. Oh, there's a there's a timekeeper. <laughs> there's a there's a race going on. I, do you think that would fix my problems? Probably not. There's a race going on up here somewhere. Okay. Zone into Valdraken to spend dragon riding stuff. The Valdraken portal wasn't working for me, and then I took the boat successfully but I didn't I wonder if it would if it would unlock account wide if I did it on a different character if I would need to do it on a per character basis because people were giving me all kinds of suggestions and none of them were panning out this morning happy my random mount button will have variety again yeah we tried a lot of stuff I'm sure they're I'm sure they're they're on it it's got to be one of the things that they're they're working on sorting out Tell did that today okay Oh yeah, people were saying that the portal worked for Tally today, and I wonder why it was disabled for me. But, you never know. Is this for a quest? Yeah, it is for a quest. I decided to do side quests instead of main story quests. And I'm not 100% sure why. Oh, there's a treasure up there. Should we go poke, poke at that? Forgotten Axe? It is a warband equipped item. It's woo. <laughs> it's an uwu. Keeper's Ever Burning Torch. It is a one handed axe. It's a one handed int axe. Uh, looks like that. Very nice. And I could put that into a warband bank. How did I not go look at the bank when I was in Dornegal? I'm I'm doing all this all this version. Uh character copy wasn't a, wasn't available at all. Um, when you go to copy character, there was no character list there, so this is a testing alpha preset. So it's not a copy of Inksy at all. <laughs> well, thank you, Pet Pepsi. I think that's a that's a huge compliment. Colin Ouch Patcher. <laughs> I need a boo boo fixer stat. the cave there? Is it Adele? Kriegval's Rest? It might be. Let's go take a look. I'm gonna turn in this quest. I wonder if this quest line is going to set me up for it, actually. 
I'll probably keep doing these quests and see if it, like, sends me into one or not. It does seem like... So this character's in 437 gear, which is a pretty tame estimation of the kind of gear you might have on coming out of Dragonflight. And the current levels of power, we're, we're cruising. It doesn't seem like the early mobs are terribly difficult. I didn't try to test her then. I completely forgot to even look at that, to be honest with you. I... um. I instantly decided to make a gnome, a gnome priest for testing. I didn't even try to do it, then I probably should have. <laughs> I probably should have looked into it. It's not too late, but it is uh, late-ish. And then they want us to slay some more invaders. Gotcha. Don't think they're available. Not available yet. Okay. Good to know. Well, those things blow up when they're dead. I still haven't found any herbs yet, but I'm keeping an eye out. It's kind of nice feeling like a lot of the new things that were... I know that there are class reworks going on, but... It feels like it plays largely the same as Dragonflight, and a lot of that freshness is going to come from hero talents. It's kind of nice. It's not like as jarring of a transition as some expansions are, like where the pre-patch hits and you're like, everything's different and I hate it all. Use explosive sticks. Okay. Do you have herbing? Uh, I trained it in Dornigal. I have, I have herb tracking enabled here. Nice statue. I got an inside tip. There are benches. There are benches. We found some in we found some in the capital city. It was it was getting a little suspenseful for a bit. It was tricky, but we get, we did it. There is an herb. It's a myco bloom. We need to go get it. It's very important. Although. Do I have explosives? I do have explosives. Maybe I shouldn't be standing right on top of them. No, actually, it's fine. <laughs> I want to look at it. Is it pretty? Oh, that makes sense. It's like a it's like a fungus. It's like a mushroom because it's a mycobloom that that checks out. That's cool. I like that. It's enormous. I am a gnome, and that is the mycobloom. <laughs> Have no have herbs always been bigger than me? I swear I played a actually no, I only played enough for two patches of the dragonfly. I was a drag at first. That's probably my problem. There we go. And I got one point of herb knowledge. We need skill twenty-five to begin specializing. And I'm currently completely out of I have no tools. I was sitting over on the bench. Look at the bright side, that means the derbs will always be in your gnome's eye line. I don't think, I actually don't think I've picked my professions. It's a bit tricky because I really like having urban alchemy in my main and there's a strong chance I end up doing that again, especially because on retail my gnome already has alchemy because I needed to pick it up just to drop the cauldrons that I made <laughs> in raid. 
um, we had a bunch of uh, flask cauldrons, and I ne we needed an alchemist that could drop them that was also going to be in the raid because they were made by like an alt. And uh, so I had to pick up alchemy and then like level it a little bit just to be able to provide all the different flasks from the cauldron. <sighs> but she's alchemy enchanting right now. And I've always like traditionally been enchanting, but I don't like not having herb. But I definitely used herb a lot early in Dragonflay and then not at all later. Like I was buying all of my mats. I think it would make a lot of sense for me to do herbalism on a different character, especially because like I could do it. And then dump all the herbs into my warband bank. And then um, and then craft on them from anywhere. Like, I don't have to have herbalism on my main. It's just nice to have gathering professions on your main. Because early in an expansion, when the herbs are valuable and you actually want to be gathering them, that's the character that's going to be out in the world doing questing and leveling and world quests and looking for treasures. And, like, they're, they're going to be out there picking up herbs anyway. And I like having that going. I don't know. Am I really going to level enchanting? But if I don't level enchanting... <laughs> who's going to do it? Guild spent the whole expansion buying enchants and I don't think we can afford it. Yeah, so the dragon riding talents were not working for me, even though I tried running a variety of scripts that have been shared. Um, in in this version of alpha I, it just wasn't happening for me so i've decided not to worry about it for the moment tempted to go back herbalism since there'll be a farm in the expansion fully expecting to have a farm with tune yeah yeah i wonder if that's what i'm gonna do because i often will do herbalism on a druid like my resto druid usually has herb because you know druid herbing is always nice look at this look at this guy <laughs> I know it's the, the mole rabbit, I love it, it's perfect. I am all out of candles. Heard there was a farm with herbalism. Cannot wait for Warbank for reagents, have a full stable of crafters and I hate having to consolidate maps to the right person. Mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be so good. Oh, oh, he's, is he coming? Okay, he's coming. Tell me Volpera are extra fluffy and War Within also save me from meetings. <laughs> uh, do you think you'll immediately buy the last Warband bank tab? I don't even have that kind of cash right now. Um, I've been spending down my gold buying WoW tokens to get Bnet balance so I can keep up with um, so I can keep up with buying cosmetics on the shop that I've been wanting. We found another herb. It's a blessing blossom. It's a blessing blossom. Let me look at this thing. It is also enormous. Oh, excuse me. I'm not finished yet. It's kind of... Hun you know what that reminds me of? Is um, if you've ever played Dark Souls 2 and there's like the hunched over pilgrims on the bridge. They've got like the little backpacks and stuff. It's kind of giving me the same vibe. Make it back fast, you always do. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to be a four-tab gamer. I think I'm going to... Like, I can swing the half a mil for the tab four. I don't think I'm going to get into tab five for, for a hot minute. I think that's a later me problem. It's a bell sprout, but with a purple head. <laughs> the Galarian bell sprout. <laughs> One of the flower ladies in Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> Tab six is rumored to be four and a half million. I didn't even know we had tab six rumors. Might end up being a three tab gamer half a mil is a lot in one thing. Mm hmm. I think it'll once I've started playing with access to the Warband Bank or some of it, I'll have a better understanding of um I think I'll have a better understanding of uh 
what it is that I want to uh yeah why don't I want to poke around in this in this thing I'll have a better understanding of how how much I need and what what's what I can live with and what I can't live with kind of thing so I wonder if I can just go in it is a delve can I just I haven't like unlocked them or anything can I do it UI work in progress tier one for adventurers who want minimum challenge Gives experience, spoils, 437. And it looks like we're recovering keepsakes from invading kobolds. It has the difficulty tier on it. And then this looks like an affix. Smothering shadows, darkness enshrouds the area, reducing maximum health if not within a radiant light. We can bump it up to tier 2 for adventurers who want moderate challenge. You get a health and increased damage affix. Additional traps and challenges appear. Otherwise, seems to be the same thing. Oh, my dungeon cube popped! See if we can get into there. <laughs> Sorry, don't mind me. I clicked on my I clicked on my thing. <sighs> I know that this is going to be vaguely confusing because the thing I'm about to do is not a delve; it's a dungeon. But I've been in that queue for a while. I want to see it. <laughs> I have not done any delves yet. No. Yeah, I queued as DPS. That's right. I have the goal, but why spend it if I don't need the slots? I think that is a very measured way of looking at it. <laughs> I think that I could see myself like filling up the bank with a bunch of warband until equipped gear and then realizing I'm saving it for nothing, like for alts that I don't even have in play. All right, we are in a place called the Cinder Brew Meadery and I am not healing, so a bunch of this is not my problem. That's a big, exciting pull, okay. I have corrupting inferno. I'm, I'm erupting flames. Everything's happening so quickly. Let's uh, maybe get a little bit of a vampiric embrace going. I don't know if this is the fault of the dungeon. I think we may have just pulled incredibly largely. <laughs> Days since last accident. Zero. Okay. <laughs> Bear pull. I mean, we killed a bunch of stuff before uh, before it happened. Huh. Normal health bars are rough. I know, right? I can't believe that we made it through all of Dragon Flight, and this is still what we're working with. I know you can make them bigger, but you can't make them less ugly. <laughs> You could say that pull was unbearable. We almost did it. Waiting for the tank to fall, call everyone noobs and leave. I find on, on PTRs in testing, people are usually pretty patient. Not always, of course, but you're less likely to encounter something like that because the queue times are longer. People aren't as disposable because there's only so many people that are like in the testing and on at any given time that want to actually do the content. And then because it's not like your normal account, it's not like you're going to... You're usually just there to, to see the content, so it's... You don't have like a, we must finish this as quickly as humanly possible or else kind of thing. Like you're... It's all, it's all good learning. Finally added edit to the objective tracker. It only took them years. I don't have any buffs or anything, but that's okay. It's just a normal leveling dungeon. There's an ogre over there called Chef Chewy. He's got a hat. Compliments of the chef. Increases damage done to nearby allies by 15% and makes them immune to all forms of crowd control. Oh, I wonder if that's one of the things that happened. <laughs> this is cool. It's exciting! 
exciting to have new dungeons. Oh. Can we? Yeah, there we go. I haven't done, <laughs> like, a dungeon. It wasn't just, like, a follower dungeon for a quest in some time. It looks like Brewmaster is the boss. I think. Yeah, 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 he's, he's the first boss. Uh-oh, I shouldn't stand on this. I definitely shouldn't stand on that. What I'm hoping for is more of what we got in Dragonflight, which was fairly clearly telegraphed abilities that were reasonably easy to understand without needing to know a bunch of secrets ahead of time. Happy hour begins. Patrons start a rowdy yell. I don't know what that means. I can grab a mug of beer. Um, I, I, I feel like I grabbed it. Maybe somebody else grabbed it. Must be closer to interact with that target. Okay. I have a mug of beer for 27 seconds coming within 15 yards of a rowdy patron serves the brew to this patron okay where are the rowdy patrons oh there's some thirsty 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 okay i don't know where the rowdiness is coming from but i have a beer for somebody if someone wants it <laughs> it's kind of a neat concept last call. I wish I had dialogue sound. I wonder if it's just not in yet. Or if I have it turned off. Uh, no, we've got it turned on. It's just not, not in, I suppose. Hope there's a follower dungeon version of these. Yes, there will be. All of the, all of the, dra or not the dragonfly, all of the War Within dungeons will be available in a follower dungeon version. Alright, that hurt. <laughs> I'm glad I have Angelic Bulwark. <laughs> Are you like impressed so far? It's fun. It's, right now it's playing basically the same way it plays in Dragonflight. I haven't gotten, I chose not to unlock Hero Talents early, so I'm still, I'm still rocking the, the normal setup. Which I think for now, I'm- wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> sniping! Oh, my life flashed before my eyes. I think for now, I'm kind of cool with having the new variable be the new content and not the class for me for, the, for this particular moment. Put that gun down! What is the flowers around you? We have a Resto Druid as a healer, so it's possible that it's one of their effects. It is highly likely. I don't think it's any of mine. My trinkets are both just stat sticks. Is this a pretty linear dungeon? It looks like you could do it in different orders. It's nice and symmetrical. Oh, it's a bazooka, <laughs> for heaven's sake. Oh, that's fun. Do the two wings in either order. These are such aggressive pulls. I'm gonna try and heal myself a little bit. The healer is a uh, deceased. Um, I've only I've only tested priest. I'm not really a class expert. I'm just playing priest because that's what I main on retail. And I honestly I main holy priest. I'm just playing shadow for. I was doing it for questing.
The string lights are quite festive. I do like them a lot. They look um they look very they look very like modern industrial deco brewery with the uh the filament detail. been slowed I need a target I don't have a target I gotta turn off air or speech. That's no good. Oh my goodness, there's a brand ambassador. It's a null. Is he representing? I guess they're representing different brews. We're in the buzz barns now. This place is incredible. <laughs> Alright, good to know. Hopefully Nova still does not pull if you're not in combat with something. That is nice. All I need is a Volpera Paladin and Druid, then I have them all. Bank Busby. So this is a this is a boss. And it looks like it spawned some abs. Which I'm switching to. There are barrels that are stuck to the terrain. I wonder if we have to hide behind them or something. There's a pushback. I wonder what they do. I'm choosing the learn learn as we go version. <laughs> oh, maybe we killed it too fast. Two more bosses. One of them is uh, IPA. <laughs> Very good. And then our last boss will be Goldie Baron Bottom. Placeholder summary and lore for the encounter. I can't wait to read the lore for the IPA encounter. Figure it out yourself in another run. Ah, it's it's all right. I'm uh, it's any it, stuff goes in one year out the other. When it comes time to if I end up doing any kind of a dungeon guide, I'll dig through it and get it all sorted out. I don't know if I I don't know if I will do, but maybe it would be nice because um, they're not all going to be part of the Mythic Plus season, but I'm assuming they're all going to be part of Mythic Zero, which is going to be increasingly relevant this time around. This is a hop goblin, <laughs> a careless hop goblin. the good theme. Yeah. I mean, it's all the same dungeon. The dungeon is a brewery. I think it I think it checks out. I'm enjoying it a lot. Feels like a panda dungeon. We did have a brewery in panda dungeons. Do I have any healing pots? I feel like I don't. I guess I can just uh, desperate prayer and self heal for a sec. I like the nice wide open hallways actually. Um, a lot of dungeons that are very hallway based I have found to be kind of claustrophobic and 
pinched feeling and I like how wide this is. It feels like you've got room to maneuver, especially with all of like these these spread AoEs, these isolate mechanics. I think it's nice to have <laughs> nice, nice ogre sized hallway. Yeah, Waycrest uh, is a very cool dungeon that drives me batty. Looks at Grim Real Depot. Like the hanging lights everywhere. Yeah, it's nice. I love a good string light. I wonder if they're gonna go out of fashion. They're like, in various versions, very popular right now. Shepherd dungeon at the stairs with the to stones tumbling down it. Mm -hmm. That's um, that was the Legion one. That was Dark Heart Thicket, or not Dark Heart Thicket? Pardon me. Um, Black Rick Hold. Oh, a flamethrower. I wonder how dangerous that is. Wait, what does it say? Uh, immediately. Oh, it requires gnome, goblin, mechanome, or at least. Oh, ow. <laughs> Twenty-five skill in goblin engineering. But I am a gnome, so I think I could do it. I just need to. I just need to grab it. I just wanted to read it to see if it was going to say something like, "Pick this up at your own risk. You will die." Um, I wonder if we should just stay dead and reset here. I think we're 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 toasting. There we go. I'm grabbing a flamethrower. Enemies in front of the caster, 5% of maximum health. Eh, damage disorient. <laughs> aim and aim and fire. What's not to like? Panda remix heroic. Pretty short range. There we go. There's the disorient. And it looks like that completely consumes the flamethrower as well. I need a target. Is this where we fight? Yeah, it is. This is where the IPA comes. <laughs> there it is! I finally get to slay my sworn enemy. <laughs> uh. Yeah, there was a lot of options for it. No mechanome and goblin could all do it innately, and then you could also- engineers could do it too. So I don't think it would be too- too tricky to have something in your group that could pick up a flamethrower. It's also like a one-time use. Oh yeah. I got an offhand, I got a helmet, and something else. Maybe not. Oh, we're getting on the beeline. <laughs> what is IPA asking for myself? Um, something that other people enjoy drinking. Uh, so Drakthir opening for other classes is something that was said in an interview to be not part of War Within launch, but not, um, like, during War Within at some point. They didn't name drop any specific classes. You may have gotten <laughs> my employees, but now you're dealing with the B.E.O. herself. It works on a couple of levels. Come on, she's a BEO. 
Um, do I want to, like, blow up barrels? I did blow up barrels. I don't know if I'm supposed to avoid doing that. Whoa! Or if it's something that is a good thing for me to have done. Um, I'm bringing them to some barrels. I think that's good. I feel like we're going to regret not doing more later if it comes to it. Because we can dodge the waves. That's fine. If I had to guess. Oh, see, now she's, yeah, now she's lighting up all kinds of waves and by clearing them earlier, then you've made some space. It's great. Oh, I love her jacket. She's looking good. Mm, cool. I love this B-movie sequel. <laughs> Who thought it was a good idea to ride a giant flame bee? <laughs> hmm. All right. It's a great B plot. Love the dungeon layout. I like that dungeon a lot. I think that's great. I'm interested to see what it, how it plays and how it feels on a higher level of difficulty um, in the future because I definitely didn't see all the dungeon mechanics. <laughs> Found something to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I decided not to unlock hero talents early, so I'm not using any hero talents yet. I am in standard hero talent free shadow priestess. Ooh, it's an irradiated mycobloom. I feel like I should not touch radioactive fungus. We got a ley line residue, and that's why. <laughs> I'm going to take another short break, and when I come back, I want to poke around in this delve and have a little look-see. Beer beat. <laughs> let's find out oh hang on is there a rare up there what is it flame keeper grass well let's find out what that's all about <laughs> and then we can find out what uh cool. what the uh what the dell looks like assuming that it lets me in which i think it should doesn't look like it needs to be unlocked although i haven't done any campaign quests that would have like walked me through it or anything so maybe I don't know if I have my brand yet we got some male boots that are once again <laughs> warband until equip kind of neat alrighty I like that follower dungeons allow for story narration leading to an ending with actual dungeon with campaign quests gonna make story delivery smoother for sure but yeah, it's kind of cool. You get like a pair of blue boots off of a rare, and they're male, but you can you can stick them in your warband bank or mail them. I'm sure if you wanted to mail them directly to another character, but you can stick them in your warband bank and then pull them out whenever you want. All right, let's try this on tier two. Tier three requires completion of the Kazalgar main story campaign on your warband and an item level of five twenty five. Sounds like a later me thing. All right. Oh, hey, look, it's Brandy's here. Firing mines just got to know. Mm -hmm. We got supplies. Combat roll. So you can be a healer or you can be a damage dealer. I'm going to stick him in DPS for now. He'll have a gun. He can feign death. Um, he has a self-heal that's pretty substantial that he can do every 15 seconds. He can hurl steel traps. He's got an AoE, he's got Aspect of the Turtle, and he builds a campfire after exiting combat. That's nice. Allows cooking. Did the bee boss drop B-O-E? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Help you with that. View goods and repairs. Kobolds have ransacked this place and taken several valuable artifacts from our ancestor. They may even have the helm of our first caretaker. Please get them back. You can help yourself with the treasure cache below. It means nothing to us compared to the artifacts. Uh, what can you tell me about the darkness? Something dark followed these kobolds here. They use their candles to keep it at bay. All I know is you'll be sapped of all your strength if you stray too far from it. I found that out the hard way. So don't hang out in the dark. Um, kobolds 
are nuisances. <laughs> I'll do it. Take care to stay in the light. You betcha. Delves item level set to 441 for testing. Okay. Grab a candle. I wonder if I'm gonna want my um The candle gets weaker when you move. Watch your steps. Ooh, okay. Watching for 20 minutes, wondering what activity this was and why I didn't know what it was, but it's alpha and I need my coffee. I hope you have a lovely coffee. Mine was very good this morning. class specific stuff i also heard that i heard that same that same quote so like you won't be able to earn like a class tier set unless it was unless you get the version that was not class locked uh i set brand to be a damage dealer and i'm a damage dealer him and i are we're playing dangerous here Seems fun. My candle is getting smaller. Found a bit of gold. <laughs> <laughs> Lil Wigan, thank you for the seven month three sip. Half a year. Plus a little more. Thank you very much. Hmm. Sucks that class specific sets don't count. I mean it's always, it's still a lot better than it was. Oh, and we're up we're up more. We got a candle restock, that's nice. But yeah, I feel you. Big kobold. <laughs> Can we befriend? I don't know. The dwarf told me they're a nuisance. I don't think we're. I don't think we're on the same side. Candlelit sanctuary. Okay. Yeah, unlocking the warrior set for a warrior would still add it to all warriors. I'm also curious what harder delves are going to be like. I'm not convinced that we're going to be able to test the harder difficulties. Oh, look at Brandy's mining. Thanks, you gave me some bismuth. Uh, what have we here? Look at him go. Plus discovery. Thanks, bud. Lightning bottle. Oh, it's like a Torghast power. Now that I'm all about. <laughs> Traps, fine. Those are those are those candles are haunted. Cause I would enjoy if the hardest delves kind of feel like the hardest levels of Torghast, because that was a really fun challenge. That's for me. I enjoyed that a lot. So far I like this better than Sniff and Seeks. I was very worried and this is obviously a very first impression, an early impression of a very low level version of this, but I was worried when I first heard about Delves that they sounded a lot like Sniff and Seeks and the kind of like predetermined puzzle aspect of Sniff and Seeks didn't really endear me to it. I wanted to play my character I wanted to mainly just like fight stuff with like some extra <laughs> powers, kind of like Torghast. <laughs> this darkness mechanic is fine. Because puzzles are just, especially if it's like a puzzle that you can just look up the answer, it's just going to be a question of like knowing, knowing what to do. You can only figure it out once, even if you did want to learn it on your own. Would you like Sniff and Seek better if the name was less gross? <laughs> no, I thought the name was kind of cute. <laughs> With like some puzzles. Mm. Oh, we're 
grab some wax. I got another lightning bottle. I haven't found any other powers yet. I've just gotten that power a few times. Looks like there's kind of a rare in here. I liked how everything was smelly to the diffin. I forgot the solution for the statue's puzzle every single time. I haven't managed to pull one of these guys into a brand trap yet. It missed! <laughs> I was here. Let me let me see if I can pull this one into a brand trap. You go, brand. I don't know if it triggered or if it just expired. Yeah, the green traps are from brand. I think they're green to indicate very aggressively that they are friendly. Sound a bit of gold. <laughs> I love that voice line. It's giving me the same energy as golden teeth. Golden hat. Which is gone now. So this is an empowered meeting stone. Which I'm confused as to what it's doing at partway through this delve. Is it just a chance for you to respect Bran if you decide that you don't like what you've done so far? I suppose that's fine. Yeah, check. Oh yeah, it's a yeah, I guess a checkpoint. That makes sense. Could I, like, log out and log back in? Yeah, respawn point unlocked. Oh. Upon releasing spirit, you will now revive at the Empowered Meeting Stone instead. That makes sense. It's kind of nice. Found a bit of gold. <laughs> Let me get my bearings to give you a hand. What are you going to do, Sir Finley? Also, I need. There's a thingy over here. I need to go bother it. <laughs> it looks like it's a mushroom that I can fight. Yeah. Here. I can hear it. Allows you to double jump. Applies fungal freshness when you double jump. Heals you over time. And that one looks like a power that doesn't expire. I wonder how the double jumping affects the size of my pa my candle. Don't forget the rare. Oh, okay. Looks better than the one I saw in Wowhead. Yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. Candlelight. I kind of thought this candle would like give me more candle. I thought I could restock my candle by coming back here. Maybe I can restock my candle at the next room. So whenever he says he's found a bit of gold, is he giving me gold? I need to process Maybe. Him first. Yeah, yeah, it's getting dark. Spooky. Oh, we're almost at a new candle. Reset. I think it went out. Let's also, I'll just a quick <laughs> run through that and trusted that it wasn't gonna fry me. Didn't hurt that bad. I would have deserved it if I died, though. I don't remember how long they said delves were meant to take on average when you're just kind of going about doing them in your your day to day life. Found a bit of gold. Oh yeah, look, he gave me gold, one gold fifty five silver. Fantastic. I'm just going to run through it. They don't hurt that bad. <laughs> yeah, I think somebody mentioned, like, not a, there's no time limit or anything like that, but just, like, a ballpark average time that they were expecting them to take. But I could have also completely hallucinated that. 8 to 15, shorter than dungeon. Hmm. How are you feel about choice to spend all gold? Good. Happy. Nothing, nothing has changed. <laughs> And the 
I look great. What do you need? Um, how do I open this door? Oh, I didn't loot all the keepsakes. There's another one in the corner. Gotcha. Mm, yeah, we got. Time. <laughs> I will only go broke into War Within if I can afford an owl map boost and it just happens to cost everything I have. This looks like maybe our last boss. I'm level 71. <laughs> that didn't feel like it took- I mean, I know I've been streaming like all morning, but I didn't feel like it took that long. Stand back while I clear this away. Bran has learned to delve level up. And treasure room. You know what this actually reminds me of? Is um at the end of if you guys did dungeons in Pal World. <laughs> at the end of the dungeon, there's a room that's kind of vaguely shaped like that where you fight like a, a big pal at the end. And then you get to go into a treasure room. And I know that's not like a unique concept and I'm sure they weren't the first person to do it, but just because it's like underground and that's the setup, that's kind of funny. It reminds me of that a lot. So I got an upgrade to my chest piece. I got two ringing deeps ingots, masterfully forged slab of Algerian metal, stalwart yet malleable, and a big gold nugget. <laughs> Large kobold. We should be friends. <laughs> They're so generous with how much gold you pick up off the ground in the end. There's there's treasure everywhere and I run over and I get one gold 50. In this economy? My goodness. Yeah, we got everything there. Take me out. With the Levo bot. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. That's, that's what we got. I feel like... No, I guess it's just done. Leave the delve. I wonder why I don't feel like I'm done. Definitely done. <laughs> that's, that's for sure it. That's what we got. Let's change... Let's make one of these bags equipment. And then consumes. We'll do profession goods. And then maybe quest items and clean up a little bit. There we go. Favorite new model you've seen so far? I like the flat fish. <laughs> I liked the fishy. Uh, it was called... I liked this fish. <laughs> it was real good. Are delves good XP? I didn't check to see how much XP I had going in, but I did just level in one. <laughs> Um, I'm not, I don't know how often, how many you'll be able to do them, what the reset is like. I guess I could see if I can just turn around and do it again. Like, is it, if I enter it, is it, uh, can you just spam the same one? I mean, I don't want to do it again, but I guess just for science. No, no, this one's complete. This one's done. I wonder if, maybe if I reset the instance. Because we're on the collector rewards stage. Let's uh, reset all instances. And it said, yeah, Kriegvall's rest has been reset. And then let's try it again. Yeah, yeah, you can totally do it again. It was reasonably fast. I don't know if there's a huge benefit to leveling in delves exclusively versus like a mix of lots of different things, but... Seems like you could do it. Hmm. 
Did I put on my new gear? I don't know if I did. I got a new I got a new thing. Uh, I don't have here. Oh, I should actually have just unlocked them. That's a good point. I don't know which tree I'm gonna pick. I gotta take a look. I wanted to get this uh, this herb. <laughs> we need to get our herb skill up high enough to take a look at the and play around with the spec tree. Yeah, so I wonder, um, right now we don't have our final map, but we don't see, I don't see anything about, oh, the reason we found that bell was because we ran across it on the mini map. Oh, I'm not tired. Mm, not at all. Okay. Choose your hero talents. I could be an Archon or I could be a Void Weaver. Archons, highly devout, deeply connected to the light and shadow. I'm going to put my feet up while I read all this. They can be blessed from higher beings to enter into an ascended state, becoming an ultimate version of themselves. That would give me... Okay, I can't do it because it's not implemented yet. <laughs> I don't know what it would give me. I guess I'm going to be Voidweaver. Voidweavers have dedicated themselves to studying the origins of void magic and have discovered a way to tear open a tenuous connection to the void. Great idea. Power is incredibly dangerous and volatile. That's me. Anthony. Don't worry about making the wrong choice. You'll learn all these talents by level 80. Nice. <laughs> you can go super saiyan. So, for the first one, we have a choice node on the left. We have a straight thing in the middle. We have a thing on the right. So, on the right, we have something called Inner Quietus. Vampiric Touch, Shatter of Pain, deal 20% additional damage. Void Blast has a passive... Entropic Rift upgrades. Oh, hang on. Before that, we've got a prereq. We automatically get Entropic Rift, which is a passive. Void Torrent. Which is funny because I'm expecting to do it. But Void Torrent tears open an Entropic Rift that follows the enemy for 10 seconds. Enemies caught in its path suffer damage every one second while within reach. Void Blast causes that Rift to upgrade Mind Blast into Void Blast while it's active. Does damage, generates insanity. I'm assuming it's just more damage, more insanity than regular Mind Blast. Over here, you've got the Rift slows enemies, increase the closer they are to the center, or Void Torrent can be used while moving, while Entropic Void is active. Um, you move faster. That seems good. I think I would probably... I mean, that just seems like more straight-up damage, but this sounds like more fun. Yeah. Let's go Team Fun. <sighs> Hmm. I'm excited to try out this rift situation. Void torrent. Okay. First of all, I can run around. Second of all, there should be... Yeah, there's the rift. That's kind of cool. Look, it's glittery. <laughs> it looks like space. I'm happy with that. Sorry, Falcon. Bad news, Birdie. Hmm. Started a high elf pal model to be the brother of my void elf monk I play in. Wow. Oh, cool. Model my D&D warlock on the aesthetics of WoW Shadow Priest. Hmm. See y'all tomorrow. Kind of make din dins or I'll eat my keyboard. See you tomorrow, Currents. Hmm. I'm not that far from leaving myself. I've got another like 25 minutes or so and then I'm going to need to figure out some lunch. But first I need to figure out this glow flying guinea. I'll take a look at it. Looks like one of the new firefly models. Oh, that's cute. Need that. Check out Void Leech. Over two seconds, siphon health from a nearby ally, ally if they are higher health than you. 3% of your health. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, this isn't gonna do a good job. What else do they have? They have the Sandstone Proto Lamb and a Meek Blood Lasher. So just different colors of the same two pet models we had already. I should try. Oh, I'm so excited. 
at some point I need to do, I need to play like spec holy, set up all my bars and everything, and then try healing some of these dungeons. And maybe do that, maybe I'll make another priest. I don't like splitting up my characters, but I kind of want to play with all the holy talents. So I think that it would be fun to jump to 71 via the NPC in town to like play around with the, uh, the hero talents that holy has. Because I don't really remember... And by that, I mean I never looked at what they redid for Oracle. I know they did redo the Oracle tree, but I didn't look to see what, what it is. So many things to do! So little time! Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing a bad job of catching this glowfly. <laughs> Foxy Symbiote, thank you for the three-month resub. Uh, I missed it all. Though there will be a there will be a full vod of this stream, um, both on Twitch, but I will also get it up onto YouTube by tomorrow morning. Also, I'll get yesterday's vod up onto YouTube. <laughs> I I definitely forgot to do that. <laughs> Thanks, Dorda. I'm happy to. It uh, doesn't fix everything, but it helps a lot. <laughs> We still have season four coming next week. Although now I feel like I don't have to make... Oh, I accidentally killed... Oh, no, I, we caught it. We're good. I don't have to make season four last forever. Like, I can kind of play as much of it as I want. And then if I feel like I'm done with it, I can do some... I can I can play alpha basically until remix comes out. I need to get... <laughs> I need to figure out everything that I want to know from alpha before remix because I I also will need to know life remix to get everything. I need to put on that chest piece that I got from Delves anyway. <laughs> Grumpy unicorn! New pet battle stuff. There are certainly new battle pets, and there are some achievements for just doing battle pet tamers with family-specific teams. I haven't come across the pet tamers yet, but it seems like there's going to be at least eight of them. Which will be good. I haven't seen any new formats for pet battle content for War Within yet. Nothing, like there's no pet dungeons or... I haven't heard of any anything groundbreaking, but I'm also very behind in trying to catch up on everything that we know because it's been such a huge information dump, it feels impossible to keep up with it. Can't wait to relive Thona Thrunder, Bokushan Balls. Mm. Yeah, I like the Isle of Dorne area a lot, it's pretty. I'm a little nervous for the future areas where we head underground, but I think they're not like super, they're not all super dark and dank and cave-like. I don't think it's going to be like spending the entire expansion in the Zerla Caverns. <laughs> Was I referencing the rascals? I thought I was referencing sprouts that you put on a sandwich. <laughs> Look at the skybox. Here. Let's see what we can do. I'm old. Well, so are, so are sprouts. <laughs> I'm willing to bet the sandwich predates the character. Skybox seems pretty straightforward. Not everything can be the Oribo Skybox. And indeed, I don't think the Oribo Skybox was able to save Oribos.
for a brief moment, I misread what you said about alfalfa hay. And I thought that it was a romantic and I was going down a whole tangent in my brain about the 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 different um romantic romantic types of of straw and hay <laughs> flowers oh man well i'm ready to begin you never know uh is this just a simon says quest it is a Simon Says quest. We've got ore. We've got... Well, hang on. That's a pile of coals. This is ore. There we go. Sorry. And then that's a charged core. <laughs> Probably a romantic, too. <laughs> Summoning animations for old mounts. I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll take a look. Need more heat. Toss in some coal. The romantic shenanigans of grains. Is this a is this a earthen that's having attention difficulties? He's talking about how let me see if I can still do this. This used to be easy. It's getting hard to concentrate. What am I making? Oh, right, the lantern. Who are you? Oh, he's having memory problems. It's probably to do with that big memory drawer situation. I'm sure there's, like, lore reasons behind it. I'm not following the story super closely. I just thought that they made a squirrel brain like me. <laughs> um, I was a stone bound. Did I tell you that? We used to tend buildings in the city. Yeah, he's having memory problems. But he made a lantern. And then he gives you an engineering schematic. That's nice. And <laughs> the curse of the flesh is just ADHD. Yeah, I don't know. I think it might be something something a little different than that. I think he's having memory problems. Um, meet outside, you betcha. Dwarves with memory problems should get more RAM. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, poor guy. That's tough. Lucy, here's a puppy in here. Lucy, is this my end of stream puppy visit? Are you a puppy dog? Are you a puppy dog? You wanna come see me? You wanna bring me a toy? Hi. Wait, <laughs> you're so close. Lucy, can you come? All the toys are over on that side. Hi, buddy. Hi, sweetie pie. Hi. There you go. There you go. Oh. Puppy, 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 puppy. <laughs> Lucy, leave it, bud. That's not for you. I know. You can't eat my trash. You want a toy? I think someone's tired. Lucy, are you on the leash? You want a tug? No. <laughs> He's like, just give it to me and I'll go eat it. I don't want a tug. I'm tired. <laughs> this is my doggy. He's almost one year old. Can you believe it? Can you believe how, how grown up and handsome? <laughs> Gentle dog. He is very gentle. He's very careful with his mouth, which is good because he's got a lot of bite force. <laughs> he's pretty strong. You can probably take it from me if you try. <laughs> You're still so tired. You just flop down. Yeah, I think my baby's handsome, but I am hopelessly in love with him. Yeah. Go get him. <laughs> he may or may not bring that back. Oh, that was nice. Lucy, I think you're... Oh, is that for me? We can kind of do fish. Yeah, thank you. 
Does he destroy toys? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He likes coming in my office because my office is the toy graveyard. All the plushy toys are in danger from him, so he can't have them all the time because he'll tear them to bits and eat them, so he can only have them when we're playing with them with him. <laughs> Moosey, I think your dad has a treat for you. What? And a toy. <laughs> Alright, bye bye buddy. I'll see you in a few minutes. I love him. <laughs> he's, he's so nice to hug. He gives really, really, really good hugs. I'm five. He's cute. <laughs> Wah. All right, I'll, I'm, I'm good to go snuggle him in a few minutes. We're almost, we're almost done here. I wanted to see, is there anything else I want to check? We were going to look at mounting animations for older mounts. What do we mean by older mounts? Like a horse? Like a night saber? We're talking like flying mounts. Cause it looks like that's still the, the standard. <laughs> pretty, pretty normal. I think um, like this, this mount always had a fancy animation. That was there. Other dragons. Oh, um, okay. Let's see. Proto Drake. What about like a green Proto Drake? Uh, no. Old Proto Drake. Surely will- like, it has dynamic flying, but it doesn't swoop in behind you like the other ones, no. Have you bought a two-in-one toy? Squirrel, and inside is an acorn, so she destroys it, she still is a toy. I- I think the ones that they can pull a piece out of are quite clever, because they can kind of satisfy that instinct to take it apart without actually, like, ripping it to pieces. But, um, Moose is just really hard on toys. He's got a he's got a lot of destructo power. Oh, okay, what is this? Meet with Yeah, sure. Off and away. Maybe off stream I'll try to crawl my character out to um I'll see if I can crawl my character out to Valdraken, even though it'll be kind of annoying to get there without any flight paths or extra dragon riding vigor, but if I can do that and I can try running the script again, maybe I can get it to work. Cause I would love to have more than three vigor. Would be nice. Uh, the book mount is the Soaring Spell Tome. It is for doing all seven of the different Mage Tower challenges on your account. Need at least a couple of vaults for it. Oh, this is a different delve. Oh no, it's the same delve. I'm dumb. <laughs> it's exactly the same delve. Go back to the city, take a teleport. I need to go look for ports in the city. Um, but the Stormwind Valdraken portal was not working for me this morning. I looked at I tried that already. What if you made a mage? Hmm. Yeah, you're right. I think that flight path might be unlocked by default. I'd have to... Um, don't you need like a separate account if you want a multi-box though? Rock stone charger. Yeah. Well, we're going to shore. I have a feeling that if I pay attention to this quest line fully next time, it's going to make me cry. <laughs> Main story in, in WoW never doesn't usually do it for me, but I think side story has a has a chance too. That one looks sad. Oh hang on. Herbs herb alert. I need these. What's this one? We have... Oh, it's a new one! It's an irradiated Arathor's spear. That is cool. Is it just me, or are herbs huge in this x pack? Look at that thing! That is twice the size of me. I'm gonna use my overload thing. What happens when we overload it? It's an irradiated herb. Um... I learned how to do it. Arcane duplication. Use the latent arcane energy that you stored from the irradiated herb to magically duplicate the basic form of a nearby herb. Wait, so if I'd use this button, do I make another one? Yeah, so I just like made a regular Aerithor spear. That's kind of cool. But you could do it, I'm assuming you could like, uh oh, you could do it on a different, um, you could do it on a different uh, herb. You could like keep that. I wonder if it has a, 
duration. It didn't look like it. Miss Ock and Bloom after picking them up thousands of times, but these look nice. I need to try this engine first. Uh, the C come from an X pack. I'm assuming expansion pack. I'm assuming that it's kind of an abbreviation of, of those two words. Uh, I hang on. <laughs> I need to get the rest of that herb, but I've 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 made poor choices of buttons to press. Doing a fall five for Mog. Last boss wiped. Seventeen minutes left. Healer Williams, what the heck is going on? I'm sorry that happened. That sucks. Here we go. And again. <laughs> Levitate. Always handy. It's so weird being able to void torrent and move. <laughs> it's so bizarre. I'm not even a, not even a main. Oh, Michael Blue. Same profession systems. It looks like the basic, um, the basic setup for it is the same. You still have. Hang on. <laughs> Keep forgetting what my keybind is for my herb journal. You still have um, profession knowledge. You need to reach twenty-five skill to begin specializing. Um, I have right here classic or Kazagar. I'm sure if you learn Dragonflight. You could you could switch to it there. You've still got profession gear. Mage Tower easier now? I've heard that. I haven't tried to verify firsthand, but I've heard that the Dragonflight version is easier than the Shadowlands version was. What happens when you click the profession button on the mini menu? Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> Pull, pulls it up, although I have a bar that covers my mini menu. <sighs> I know some people use that menu a lot. I never use it. I always use keybinds to get to those menus instead. And if I don't, if I can't remember my keybind, I'm just lost. <laughs> I'm adrift. Oh, this looks like a nice place to go fishing. It's so spooky and quiet. <laughs> I know there's... Oh, you know why it's Scooby King Quiet? It's because my earphones died. I'm thinking, where did the game sound go? I know I don't have music, but there should at least be, like, whooshy sounds from Shadow Priesting. But no, I... Uh, towards the end of my stream, my batteries only last so long. <laughs> That's what happened. Oops. I'm pretty excited about War Within so far, based on what I've seen. They change accessibility options for flying. I can show you the window. Let's see. I don't remember what it was like before, but I can show you the the, the window. We've got a motion sickness mode. I usually like turning off the um, the other thing. Uh, turn camera shake off and then... I thought there was um, the extra whooshiness. Photosensitivity mode. Modifies certain effects. Hmm, interesting. Mounts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's... There's... You've got your dynamic flight section. So I can turn off dynamic flight screen and speed effects. Just the visual effects. It won't change how fast you're actually going. Yeah. When do you think it's going to release? No idea. I'm hella hyped. <laughs> I don't, there's so many things to do. I don't know how I'm gonna how I'm gonna make room for everything and like absorb everything properly between season four and remix and alpha. <laughs> My goodness, there's too many there's too many things. It's too much fun. How how could they do this to me? Yeah, that looks nicer to me. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of the extra screen effects for dynamic flying, but that's just me. And some of this stuff. I had fun. I think for tomorrow's alpha stream, I would love to get on a holy priest, enable all hero talents, play around with them for a while. 
And then queue for some dungeons and maybe try to heal some different dungeon runs. Good thing you stopped playing Final Fantasy as there is an expansion coming up this summer. That would indeed be too much. <laughs> I guess the good news is I'm not planning any like vacations or anything for the summer, so it's not like I'm going anywhere like if anything else that's going to be making me busy. Unless I somehow still manage to move, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know, man. Who's, who's to say about that right now? I'm looking about as far in the future as lunchtime, and I don't even know what I'm having for lunch. It's too far away. Yeah, yeah, we did some Final Fantasy XIV. We streamed it for a while. I had like one or two days a week that I would play that, and then I would stream WoW for the other days in the week. I don't remember what I played or what I did. I had, I, I had, I mostly remember being in the casino. <laughs> hmm. Supposedly Voidweaver for disc, atonement healing, 500k per smite, super bug. Mm. How often should I water a spider plant? Uh, when it's thirsty. Usually I water most of my host plants when they start to get dry. Spider plants I find are pretty tolerant. They'll let you know when they're when it, they're pretty thirsty. They'll get kind of floppy. You should probably water them before that point, but I'm terrible and I never get around to it. Um, I try and get a vibe for how heavy the pot feels when it's like fully wet, like by lifting it up after I've watered it, and then and then checking it to see how much lighter it's gotten, to kind of kind of feel for it. You can also get moisture sensors that are a little gadget that you stick into the soil, and it'll tell you whether or not it's wet deeper down. Because sometimes a pot will dry out on top, but it'll still be quite damp on the middle. Because um, the amount that it drinks is going to vary depending on how much light it gets, um, how. <laughs> like, lots of different conditions will impact that. Uh, live with roomies or solo, considering living solo? I live with a romantic partner right now. Um, I have lived solo before. Tips on living solo. Hmm... I mean, if you've been living with roommates, it's basically the same thing, except that you know where all your stuff is. <laughs> Everything is where you left it. Uh, I guess a general piece of advice would be to stay organized about admin level stuff. So things like when your bills are due, um, different things that might need upkeep. Just kind of have a place where you keep all the information so that you're not panicking if you need the account number for like the gas bill or something like that. And you're like, I don't remember where this is because all of that does fall down to you. So just kind of being organized about about um, basic housekeeping is kind of nice. <laughs> Lock your doors. <laughs> hmm. Serving size, it says two is now one. Oh, minus brown tips now. Water I added seems to perked it up a lot. Mm. The brown tips could also be um, from, if it's getting crispy on the edges, sometimes that's like a lot of light, but often it's because it's getting dry. Like, it, there's, like, dry humidity. Mine get like that because the only place I have that has any light is also kind of over a heater, so mine just gets toasted. <laughs> it makes do, but it's not the prettiest thing ever. Um, but keeping it away from heaters or, like, uh, keeping it a little more humid might help with the crispy tips, but my plants all get them. They don't do a whole lot of harm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, always have always have a plunger. <laughs> That is uh that is one of the first things that's on the on the, the new place furnishing shopping list. Mm. You were a conjurer and you had oven mitt gloves. I did have oven mitt gloves. That's right. Oh, another micro blue. Should I scrap some of it for cooking? <laughs> Do I need any of it? I guess I haven't even picked up a second profession. We can we can chop up some micro bloom. We can salvage it. And we are getting dilly dally dace. <laughs> That can't be right, can it? That's so funny. I'm scrapping the herb to obtain an ingredient used in various castle gar for foods, and all I'm getting is a common fish. I thought dace was going to be like a spice, but nope, that's a fish. <laughs> oh, thanks for the uh, thanks for the sub, Zebrin, with a brand new sub. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. Welcome to the Scrub Squad, and Zebrin <laughs> Cack Spider Plants live. Appreciate it. I also have an offshoot for my own mother's uh, uh mother spider plant. <sighs> a little crispy on the edges, but I have a little frog figurine that sits next to it that's kind of like 
in amongst the spider plant leaves and his name is Dalton and I enjoy him peeking out at the room from behind his camouflage. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I made it to any, I don't know what expansions I made it to, but I'm not like a, I wasn't paying attention to any kind of story or cutscenes or anything like that. So I don't know how relevant it was to my own gameplay experience. I did not land on that correctly. <laughs> Oops. <sighs> I've been playing f 14 years, hooked on WoW, find myself stressing over two expansions coming up, but I refuse to give up. <laughs> I think the thing that freaked me out the most when I first started living alone was being completely on my own with bugs. Um, being very worried about, like, just home security because I knew it was just me in there, so, like, loud noises or... You know, somebody trying to get into your door because they're lost and drunk and they think that it's their door kind of thing. That would freak me out a lot. Um, I got very careful about, like, making sure everything was, like, locked and windows were locked and stuff. Um, but, yeah, big bugs. You're kind of on your own. It's kind of weird having, um, you know, like, being the, the source of all decision making for the house, you know? Like, you realize that in your apartment that birds have started nesting in one of the vents. You get to decide whether or not you're going to rat them out to maintenance. <laughs> oh, a lush blessing blossom. Ho, ho, ho. So if I heart, that's going to take me back to Dornigal. I think I'm good with that. I think we can do that. I'm curious to see if... Um, I didn't find any NPCs in the city that were going to, like, tell me where stuff was. I didn't see any guards, but that doesn't mean there aren't any. I might have just not found them. But yeah, I am just about done for today. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. I'm wrapping up too. I just wanted to know if there was like a Stormwind portal or like an Orgamar portal somewhere. It's probably somewhere obvious. <laughs> Could I flight path to like Pandaria? There's no way, right? Show me where I can fly. Uh, no. Nowhere. <laughs> hmm. Any places that you like to eat in Victoria? Mm, yeah! I haven't been to a lot of them, though. There's a lot of places that I've ordered food from <laughs> and then eaten it in the privacy of my own home. <sighs> Why are you planning a trip? I'm a, I'm a terrible tourist recommendation. <laughs> Does your Gary portal work? Uh, I don't have a car. Oh, it would be a toy, wouldn't it? Uh, toy box. Oh yeah, because I also could use a dollar on teleport, right? Oh yeah, I could just I could just take a dollar hearthstone. That'll work too. That's good to know. It doesn't doesn't answer my question of if there is a portal here, but that's something I'll just have to poke around for later. I am going to leave now and come back tomorrow morning with another brand new alpha stream. Thank you very much for joining me today, guys. I appreciate your company. I had a lovely time. Have a wonderful start to your weekend and a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.